Okay. All right. Um, is it working? Okay. Yeah, I think it is working. All right. <clears throat> so, peace to the family out there. I want to um, to highlight and recap a small section of what happened yesterday. Now, a lot of people hit me up after the uh, the builds, and um, they felt like I was taking it easy on the par or whatever the case may be. First things first. I have a lot of respect for Nepal, right? Since before, I don't, I'm not even sure if she knew Sadhana at the time. So from back in the days, you know, arguing on the internet, whatever, um, and then um, different platforms. And then of course I knew Sa before he knew Nepal, right? So now that they're husband and wife, regardless to what Sa says or what Nepal says, just me being me, I have respect for Sa and I have respect for Nepal individually, but also Nepal as Sa's wife. And so understanding the dynamics of being on a live video, I'm not going to address Nepal as I would address guys, whatever the case may be. Um, but with that, with that being said, we, we did have a good conversation. We had a good conversation. I think people can learn from it. Um, but the reason we're here, <laughs> the reason we're here though, right now, the reason we're here right now is not for that reason. The reason we're here right now is because I want to highlight of, uh, I mean, I could not have paid for something better in terms of um, like just demonstrating everything that I've been saying over the years, right? Like I, I, I could not have paid for a better example. I literally was blown away at, you know, so we're gonna go through this, right? We're gonna go through this, but I just want you to know like this was, like this was, this was a gift, you know what I'm saying? I definitely appreciate Sadhana for this because this couldn't have happened anywhere else but <laughs> House of Consciousness. <laughs> so what you're getting ready to see, and I guess I'm going to spoil it to some extent. I mean, some of you have already seen it, right? Um, but for those of you who have not, what I'm getting ready to show you is a gentleman by the name of Alkaline City, right? And Alkaline City, and you know what? If we have time and I remember, I'll probably, I, I want to play it, but then I want to play it back and show the chat room because that's what's more interesting to me. I pay attention to the chat room when I can, you know what I'm saying? Because I want to see what level of understanding the people are at. And when I talk about herbal salesmen, and herbal hustlers and race hustlers. And when I talk, this guy is the prime example of that. He's selling uh, alkaline food or herbs or whatever try, whatever Dr. Sabi scam that he's running, right? Because Dr. Sabi, when he passed, he left a huge hole of commerce that all these people are jumping off the top rope trying to fill. And none of these people start with education. And the problem is, and this is why I have so many books on Amazon right now for you. This is literally the reason why I have, I've been writing these books. Because A, people like this guy have zero he has he doesn't know what he's talking about and he's dangerous anybody that's telling you a whole bunch of health information 
that don't know what they're talking is dangerous. But he's not the problem. The problem is that the people at large are so uneducated on their own anatomy. They have no knowledge of self. The people have no knowledge of self. So when a guy like this jumps out the gate and start talking crazy, <clears throat> the people that don't know any better, they think that he's dropping science. If you don't know any better and you hear this, you go, oh, yeah, man, that brother's deep. He's dropping some science. And everything he said was gobbledygook gobbledygook but i know that uneducated people will hear a couple of buzz where oh acid up oh, alkaline and they'll so this is a very important conversation that people need to hear but then people need to use this as motivation to get education because <sighs> it's crazy and i had a doctor <laughs> I'm a I'm a naturopathic doctor. Went to school, paid to get paperwork to say I'm a naturopathic doctor. Another brother, shout out to Amira McCarthy, went to school, paid so he could be on the other side. He's in the medical side. We both are trying to school this uneducated gentleman. But listen to what I say, and I, this is I'm gonna I'm gonna go to the to the video after this. But here's the thing. These guys are so, it's not anger. I've seen people in the chat, they thinking that this guy's angry. He's not angry. Listen to what I'm telling you. The guy was not angry. Disrespectful, yes, but angry, no. What's happening is he's a, I'm not going to say a con man, right? Because after a while, these guys start to believe their own con. So he's something more than that, right? But but he's not just a one-off. There's thousands of this guy thousands of them what you're getting ready to see is energy that's coming from him trying to protect his skit hustle he's trying to protect his hustle because he's selling some type of sabi something food herbs products whatever and he's selling it to his customers with the idea that he knows the science of the body so he's going to direct you in the right direction so he wants to try to create a name for himself obviously with the goat you know what i'm saying everybody knows who i am already at this point the greatest of all time <laughs> So he want to try to make a name for himself and at least show people he could go toe to toe with Inky, right? All right, cool. I respect that, right? But he was scared to let me say anything because you know how that always ends up. <laughs> you know how that always ends up. The other guy in the video never looks good afterwards, right? But this guy was so uneducated that I didn't even have to say anything. It was just really a moment for me to say to myself, okay, it's 2024. And this guy or guys like him are still creating businesses where they are teaching people. And I just don't understand how, okay, let's say for instance, right? You get into the health industry or the health business by lying, by faking it, right? Let's just say you you faking it, which this guy's clearly doing, right? Because you can't study anatomy for 20 years. He said he's been doing it for 24 years. You cannot study anatomy for 24 years and don't know the difference between a vein and an artery. <laughs> that's like, that's not even... That's not even, you know, like if you don't know the difference between a vein and an artery after 20 years, that's you that's not even that's not bad teaching, that's not bad learning, you're just a liar. 
you're just scamming at that point, right? But let's just say you get into the health business, scamming, lying, whatever. You see an opportunity to make some money for yourself and you jump out there. Bam. You know in your heart that you didn't study nowhere. You know you just watched a few YouTube videos and you said to yourself, you know what? I think I'm handsome, right? I think I'm attractive. You know, I'm fly. You know, I think I'm charismatic. I know how to talk to people, pull people in. You know, I think I could be a herbal salesman. Or I think I could be an alkaline food salesman. I think I can sell. I think I can do what I think I see these guys doing, right? And I take 90% of the blame of that on me. Because I removed all of the mysticism around it. And I always tell people I'm from 158th Street in the Bronx. So when people see that, they think there's nothing behind what it is that I'm doing, especially if they don't study with us. Right. So but my thing is, you know, in your heart that you have not cracked open no books. You have not went to school. You haven't gone anywhere. You just lying. Right now. My thing is this. Here's what a smart man would do. And this is why I have to at least say Brother Yaki is not as dumb as the rest of these guys. He's he's low, he's down there. <laughs> but he's at the top of the dumbest niggas. You know, he's he's at the top of the the the, the short bus, right? He's the valedictorian in, in special way, you know. But what I'm saying is, is if you've been doing this for 20 years and you made a few dollars. At what point do you say to yourself, let me invest in actually getting an education with this? Like if you if you've been doing it for a while and you know you ain't you ain't certified nowhere. Like in the street, you got to be certified. You know what I'm saying? You know, you're not certified doing this nowhere. So why wouldn't you take a few hundred dollars and some time to begin to get you some certifications. Then when you get more confident about yourself, you could take some thousands of dollars and go into a real, you know, naturopathic doctor certification, nutrition certification, something like that. Dietitian, you don't have to be like a medical, you know, but you can be a naturopath like me. Or you can go into a different direction, be a nutritionist, dietitian, something like that, right? But, yeah, I digress. The world knew New York as Muslims, yeah. as gods. gods. When I was growing up, we had knowledge itself. I was a god body. I'm still acknowledging myself as that. I had knowledge itself. New York, we need to get back to being civilized. This gang shit, off the blood, off the crib. Let's go back the to the streets, nigga. Back to the Let's essence. go back to being the civilized. Essence. Peace to the family. This is Adul Ali, candidate for U.S. House District 12 here in. Peace to the family. This is Adul Ali, candidate for U.S. House District 12. Okay. Peace to the family. This is Adul Ali, yeah, candidate for U.S. House District 12 here in Charlotte, North Carolina. Let's just be real, folks. The Democrats have destroyed our major cities. Their policies have made us less safe. They've given us less economic opportunity. Okay, I don't know what's happening. We're having a little technical difficulties, I guess, because I'm on StreamYard and I'm on IG. So let me let me go over here. Yo, what is this? Shit? They gotta stop this with the commercials, man. This shit crazy. They just going commercial, commercial, commercial. Uh, 
All right. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Here we go. thing how about we That's do ironic, this you're laughing at, at real science okay so hold on hold on hold on because i see that you keep trying to throw that out there no what but you, you do like say that don't you oh okay hold on hold on hold on. i'm just asking have you i remember doing an interview or listening to you do a, a show and and you were really it was interesting compelling but nonetheless you said we could grow our our pancreas back and yes there is some evidence that you could, there's regener, uh, regenerative. Um, uh, don't take your statement back. You just, hold on. Don't take back yourself. your statement because you're trying to ridicule. You're trying to ridicule it and you keep trying to use it as a punchline. So don't try to put a band aid or two way I'm juncture telling people, in it. You on that side of the hole. You on that side of the argument, stay on that side. You so can't I can get because I want people to know. Science, hold on. You don't want so them when to I pull know. up the science, when I pull up the science, then we just deal with it like that. Don't try to put a two way. No, we're going to go deal with it forth. truthfully. Miss, you said I'm misleading. Hold on, brother. I was talking. Inky is going to show you that, yes, in a petri dish, you can uh, see that there are there's reproduction of organic cells. Far, far from re regrowing an entire pancreas. But, now, okay, hold on, hold on. Do, you me, wait, do you have me on video anywhere? Uh -oh. Uh oh, we got Alkaline City in the building, baby. We got Alkaline City in the building. Uh oh, Alkaline City is in the building. XRP is going to 100 okay. oh, million. Oh, 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 oh. So do you have me on video anywhere yes, saying sir. that you can regrow a whole pancreas or you have me talking about specific cells inside the pancreas? That, I just want to know. For the, oh, for well, the you know what? I'm not going to. I see it's sensitive for you, but you were you no, were no, alluding. It's not sensitive. Oh, stop playing you this word. Listen, to... Yes or no. Do you have me on video anywhere saying that you can regrow a whole pancreas or specific cells in the pancreas? Yes you, or no? You. You alluded to in the misleading way. Did I way. say anywhere on video that you could regrow a whole pancreas? Yes okay, no? are you going to let me answer it? It's a yes or no answer. Yes but or no. No, it's not a yes or no answer because you were misleading that, the, you the have crowd. you have video anywhere saying that you could regrow a whole pancreas? You were okay, so making for the people record, believe... You were making clarify. people believe that they could no, grow their pancreas not. back. No, I was not because I was okay. speaking specifically about beta cells inside okay. the pancreas. Got it. I was well, speaking specifically about beta cells inside the pancreas. Well, so okay. This is misleading of you to try to make people say, think, or say something otherwise. And this is you doing exactly what you don't want to be done to you. Doing All right, then. You. I don't want to make you upset, but you well, did no, do don't that. Don't put words in my mouth and don't try to say things that you can't back up. You know, here you got to source up. Well, so can you prove I did, that you did, I said you did, you any, did. No, no, you did not. You just made a so statement. So you didn't Your talk about the, regen the regeneration of the pancreas? No, I did not. I clarified it just now, and I challenged you to prove otherwise. I said specifically I was speaking to beta cells in the pancreas, and I went further to say that you cannot pull up any video anywhere of me saying that you can regrow a whole pancreas. Mm, okay. Well, you were discussing diabetes, and you were telling the people that you have compelling uh, scientific information that you that, can regrow the beta cells. Correct. Yeah. There you go. But see, when you are, I understand the science, but people would hear that and think, wow, no, I can regrow my pancreas. No, you just said it. No, they wouldn't. No, they would not. You they said would you that just said what you said. Hold on. Okay, they would think, it. if they're listening to me and they hear me say that there's science that says you can regrow beta cells, they would think that I'm saying In the pancreas. you can regrow beta cells. Hold on. Hold on. No. Why would they think? See, now that's you insulting the intelligence of the listening audience. That's you disrespecting the viewers. 
because they that would no, be I'm them. not disrespecting them. I'm it not is because you're saying that they're no, not smart enough. Everybody isn't doing science. What Some people are doing is, other things. They're what doing what you're other saying things. is that the audience is not smart enough that no. when I say regrow beta cells, that they're going to. Hey, did you hear about this? There's a free five thousand eight hundred dollar spending card. Go Uh, hear me say beta cells and not go oh wait he said beta cells but he really meant this or he really meant that yeah yeah because that's the right, audience everyone right. isn't in the audience isn't doing this doing science they're doing they don't need to uh, do, they don't need how to, do you keep cutting me off when i talk I, because i'm talking and you're cutting in so we're you, just, you stopped what? talking okay go ahead you sure ahead, because you ask me, you I'm responding. You're trying to mislead the audience right now and what well, you're pandering to them. Everybody isn't in the audience studying science. They're very intelligent people. We have doctors, don't. lawyers, we have we have we have technicians, we have artists, we have chefs. Everybody's not going to hear you say beta cells uh, can be re regenerated in the in the pancreas and they're going to think, "Oh, he's not talking about the regrowing the pancreas." So don't act like I'm insulting the people. I mean, anyway, I forgot what we were talking about. We were going to talk. Oh, the brain. Oh, you were asking me about the bonobo. Um, the bonobo can do several different. Um, uh, they can complete several different tasks that we as humans can can uh, accomplish that we can do. We see them using tools. It's kind of like they're in their stone age right now. So they're using tools, they can cook, they can play video games, they play Minecraft. So the answer is yes. So, um, and I, I didn't, you, that, listen. I you if they could build a smartphone. So well, uh, that, game, pressing the buttons, hold on, okay, pressing the buttons is different than building the actual game. Can, can they build a game? The answer is because I can't build a smartphone and I don't think anybody on this panel can, but if they, but directed, directed, so you're not catching the full science with direction and with training that is possible. Why do we know that Inky? Because they've been trained to play Minecraft. They've been trained to start fires. They've been trained to put out fires. They've been trained to cook. They've been trained to drive. They've been trained to talk. They've been trained to read. So if we know that they have that ability, they have the cognitive ability to uh, take instruction. And yes, basically they would be able to build a smartphone with the instruction. As I said, I don't know how to build a smartphone, neither do you, unless we have instruction. So they have exhibited the behavior and they have completed and accomplished tasks that um, prove that they they could possibly do what humans do, which build smartphones, um, cook dinners. Uh, and, and listen, can somebody please time out Cosmon Cal? Because for some reason, every time he's over here, he has something to say negative about me. Time him out, or I can go in the chat and time him out too. I'm gonna time him out for five minutes. Don't, don't say anything about me, Cosmon Cal. Okay, unless you want to get up here and get your waspy ass kicked, you 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 praise a Bible by the slave slave master, okay? And Inky, I have a lot of love and respect for you. We're just in a little heated argument right here, but I, I, at least I respect Inky. I don't respect anybody who worships a god that a white man created, especially not the slave master. Now, anyway, back to the build. Oh, yo, let me get my brother up in here, man. We gotta get we gotta get Alkaline City in here now. Go ahead. His name is on the title. So Alkaline City, how much title. um how much did you watch, brother? Yeah, his name is in the title. Mike check one two one two. Alkaline City's name is in the title. I'm in the building. No, you put vegan up? city. <laughs> vegan <laughs> alkaline city. You put vegan city. <laughs> alkaline vegan city. That's my new name. <laughs> now, what's up, Anki? Um, sister Nepal. I'm glad to share a panel with you guys. You guys are two of the most intelligent people in the HOK. So, you know, I really do appreciate it. Um, this is a very, um, this conversation, it's a, it's a very well needed conversation, especially for nowadays, okay? 
Um, I want to start this conversation before I start throwing out screen shares and so forth and so on. Um, we are suffering, you know, in, in our communities, you know, the, the Hispanic and the black community, um, the urban communities, the hip hop communities, the hood communities. We're suffering. We're, um, we're suffering from um, deficient deficiency. I know too. He believed in flat earth too. Uh, hollow earth. Yes. Hollow earth. I'm a hollow earther. Um, so we're suffering from deficiencies in the, in the communities, you know, and, um, obesity, cancer, diabetes, sickle cell anemia, lupus, um, AIDS, right? These are the deficiencies we're suffering from. If okay, so I it's it's flying so fast and furious. This is what we got to do. I got to stop him every time he says something. That's misleading, incorrect, or just ap at outright gobbledygook, right? So we know at the top, we know at the top that AIDS and lupus, like these are not deficiencies. <laughs> Yo, chill, listen, these are not deficiencies, right? And this is what I'm saying. Have some pride in yourself. Have some self-respect, right? If you're going to make money doing something and you're going to feed your family and you're going to try to build a name, invest some time and money into studying that. Learn what you're trying to do. Got the screen on me. Let me show you how I, I, I really flex, Sal. This is how I really flex. Look at this. You see this, Sal? This is how I really flex. This is flexing. Right. This is flexing. Right. And this is just in this last year. All these books right here is on Amazon. I wrote. Not just read. I wrote. That's flexing. <laughs> so, again. He's absolutely incorrect about saying that uh, AIDS and this and that one and diabetes and all. These are not deficiencies. Those are diseases. <laughs> Those are illnesses. They're not deficiencies. If you go into all the schematics about uh, from um, AIDS, diabetes, and the earth, I'm a hollow earther. Um, so we're suffering from deficiencies in the in the communities, you know, and um, obesity, cancer, diabetes, sickle cell anemia, lupus, um, AIDS, right? These are the deficiencies we're suffering from. If you go into all the schematics about um, what we eat, our deficiencies come from 100% of what we consume, okay? We come from an alkaline state. What is an alkaline state? An alkaline state is the creator state. That's our God state. You know, um, uh, us, our bodies can go into two forms. You either can be in an alkaline. <laughs> Back again so soon. Listen. If God was in an alkaline state, right? That would be God as incomplete. We know life. We know life like everything else in our world. The only thing that's real, right, is electromagnetism. Right? We know this beyond a shadow of a doubt. To say that God is... An alkaline state is literally like saying that God is a broken circuit, right? Because in order to have an actual circuit, in order to have life, which is a flow of electricity, right? That's the base, a flow of electricity. 
in order to have a flow of electricity, you have to have bases or alkalines and you have to have acids, right? The base or the alkaline is where the electricity starts at. So the electricity is donated from an alkaline or a base, right? So the electricity is going to travel and it's traveling to an acid. The acid is going to absorb the electricity from the base or the electron. That is how an electric circuit in biology is created, right? Your entire body is built on acids. Your bones are based on acids, right? Amino acids, collagen, right? Um, your skin, your pigment. I told the guy, I try to tell the guy, you know what I'm saying? You need to be a student. We're not on the same level. And it's 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 sad that people can't discern, you know. Alkaline state and God state, our creator state, into two God state. You know, our alkaline state is the creator state. That's our God state, you know. Um uh, us. Our bodies can go into two forms. You either can be in an alkaline state, in God state, our creator state, our most high state, or you can be in a in a state of Satanism, a state of demonism, which is a an acidic state. Okay. God state is zero, is seven point zero and above on a pH scale. The devil state is six point nine and below. Okay. We can go into, you know, the immaculate conception. Of all of this, you know, we can go into the actual, you know, the Bible text and we can go into when Satan gave Eva apple or so-called. It wasn't an apple. They try to perceive it as the apple because they always want the apple to be the demon fruit. So they put the apple in Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. They put the apple in and all of these right um, so-called Disney movies to demonize the apple. So Eve gave. I mean, Satan gave Eve the forbidden fruit. And when she consumed the forbidden fruit, was it said her eyes went wide, like she got high. This was the first time of her of our body, the human body, consuming what is so-called acid, right? <laughs> yo, I say, yo. I said, Sa, you got to, I mean, listen, the gift and the curse about Sa is that he wants to give everybody a chance. But that was a tryout and the brother failed miserably. What, what are we talking about? The Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs? <laughs> and the apple that Eve ate was the first time that humans had acid and what? What? And the saddest part about this is there was literally people in the chat that was like, yeah, that's right, brother. <laughs> and then there was some folks in there like, Inky, you got to get them. You got to you got to you got to get them with the science. I'm like, I, I could tell that the people that were saying, yeah, for him didn't know left from right. Even the people, unfortunately, and don't be mad with me, but even most of the people that were saying, Inky, get them with the science. They didn't know they left from their right. Like, because if anybody is watching this and they listening, there's nothing for me to get. This guy is not like, you know, if you and you a boxer, right? Floyd Mayweather, as a boxer, his hands are licensed, right? So Floyd Mayweather cannot have a fight with the guy packing bags in the supermarket. That's not, like, there's nothing for Floyd to prove there. And if something goes down, Floyd going to look crazy because you're not supposed to be in the ring with this kid. When this guy is saying that the apple is, came from Satan and Snow White and... 
we know that obesity is a deficiency and AIDS is a deficiency. And it's just sad that people are buying and spending money. This is the same as Brother Yaki saying humans not designed to drink water. Uh, KT running around saying that humans are designed to drink urine. <laughs> Yo, I don't know what to do with this shit. Like, I, I just keep writing. You know what I'm saying? I just keep writing and teaching. Like, yo, I, I don't know what to say or do sometimes. Something that was assuming I. She consumed the forbidden fruit. Was It said her eyes went wide. Like, she got high. And when eat, right, um, so-called Disney movies to demonize the apple. So these, they always want the apple to be the demon fruit. So they put the apple in Snow White and the Seven Doors. They put the apple in, in all of these, right, um, so-called Disney movies to demonize the apple. So Eve gave, I mean, Satan gave Eve the forbidden fruit. And when she consumed the forbidden fruit, was it said her eyes went wide, like she got high. This was the first time of, her, of our body, the human body, consuming what is so-called acid, right? Something that was acidic, that was non-natural to our environment. OK, these acids, they when we when the purpose of living right and consuming is to feed our cells, our cells, they are basically these little combustions of electrical energy. And these the mitochondria has an explosion. The mitochondria is the brain of the cell. And when it has this implosion, it sends out an electrical current through your artery, through your vein, from your vein, it goes into your your heart. Your lung current through your arteries, the brain, and these the mitochondria has an ends of our cells. They are basically these little combustions of electrical energy, and these the mitochondria has an explosion. The mitochondria is the brain of the cell, and when it has this implosion, it's combustions of electrical energy, and these the mitochondria has an explosion that was acidic, that was non natural to our environment. OK, these acids, they when we when the purpose of living right and consuming is to feed our cells, our cells, they are basically these little combustions of electrical energy. And these the mitochondria has an explosion. The mitochondria is the brain of the cell. And when it has this implosion. mitochondria has an explosion first statement second statement mitochondria has an implosion okay first things first the mitochondria neither has an explosion nor an implosion <laughs> yo listen if your mitochondria exploded or imploded right that would be the end of that mitochondria. If your mitochondria exploded or imploded, it would only be able to produce one ATP. Think about this. Or it would only be able to produce, I guess, 38, 36 to 38 ATP, meaning it would only be able to be used for one glucose molecule. After each glucose molecule, your body would have to replace all the mitochondria because, you know, they're exploding or imploding, right? An implosion and an explosion is pretty much the same. The only difference is, is the direction of the damage, right? So explosion outward, implosion inward, right? So if the mitochondria die after making you some ATP, like literally your first meal will be your last meal. Like this is I could not believe these things were coming out of this guy's mouth. And Sonetta had built this guy up for the last few weeks. He kept, he keep asking me when I come on there, have you ever heard of Alkaline City? Have you ever heard of Alkaline City? I'm like, no. 
And I don't think anybody watching has ever heard of Alkaline City until you keep saying his name. You know what I'm saying? Like, but you know, whatever. Brings the guy on. And this is what we got. Mitochondria exploding. <laughs> After Snow White and Eve are the same, eating the apple, which the apple is acid. The apple is at. So first of all, apples are not acid. Like every single thing is incorrect. I think one sentence he said was correct, but it was in the mix of so much gobbledygook. And the only one sentence he says, the reason that we eat is to feed ourselves. <laughs> After that and before that, everything is gobbledygook. But we'll continue on. It sends out an electrical current through your artery, through your vein. From your vein, it goes into your, your heart. That was acidic. That was non natural to our environment. Okay. These acids, they, when we. Yeah, he also said the, uh, the apple is acidic and not natural to our environment. I like, I, I just, I just. And you know what's crazy is I know exactly where he gets these wild cockamamie ideas from. These people are watching dumb ass Ali. Ali is an idiot. That's where this guy's getting this from. This is from Ali. I know, I know exactly what channels. Oh, you watching Jack Cruz? You watching this one? You watching that one? You watching this guy. I can even put the years and the months on some of these videos. Like, I know when the first time he said that. Oh, okay. I know when that entered the community. Okay. Yeah. So the cells are combustion. And, and so you're mixing up combustion with explosion and implosion. And even combustion is taken out of context. We're used like. It's a mess because what these guys are not doing is reading. And it really, beyond everything else, it just shows lack of pride in what you do. Because, like I said, regardless of how you got your start into helping, trying to help people, if that's what you're trying to do. Once you see you made a few dollars and you're going to take it serious and do it long term, why not learn something? Even if you don't want to go to school, I have plenty of books that you can study if you don't want to study from me. There's other authors, doctors, scholars in the field that you're interested in. You want to get into the culinary arts? Fine. Study that. Study the relationship of nutrition, digestion, things like that. Get the basics. Herbology. You want to get into the herbs? Stud Go take an herbal course somewhere or get a book and study at home. We, when the purpose of living, right, and consuming is to feed ourselves. Ourselves, they are basically these little combustions of electrical energy. And these, the mitochondria. Our cells are little combustions of electrical energy. Our cells are little combustions. Of electrical energy. Our cells are little combustions of electrical energy. Huh? Your cell is made out of water. Your cell, <laughs> your cell is a little droplet of water that's that's turning into gel. That's what your cell is composed of. It's a little tiny droplet of water that's turning into gel. Right? That's what that is. Gel is water and protein. In a cell, you got water and you got the cytoskeleton. Right? That's what a cell is. A cell is a little microscopic droplet of gel. That's what a cell is. It's not a micro, it's not a, a little, uh, what, bro, this is crazy. And he's going to go further with this. But it was just so much. 
It's like if somebody make one or two points or two or three points, that's incorrect or I disagree with. But if you talk for 10 minutes and every single thing you say is incorrect, not only are you dangerous, right? But I know you learning from Ali. Ali didn't already kill people. Bro, y'all got to stop this. It has an explosion. The mitochondria is the brain of the cell. And when it has it. The mitochondria is the brain of the cell. Sir, the nuclear DNA is the brain of the cell. The mitochondria is where electricity is cycled to recycle ATP. So mitochondria is just an organelle inside a cell. The brain of the cell is the nucleus. The brain of the cell is the nucleus. It's literally what all the machinery is built around inside your cell. This implosion, it sends out an electrical current through your artery, through your vein. When these, the mitochondria has an explosion. The mitochondria is the brain of the cell. When these, the mitochondria has an explosion, the electrical energy. And these, the mitochondria has an explosion. The mitochondria is the brain of the cell. And when it has this implosion, it sends out an electrical current through your artery, through your vein. From your vein. <laughs> ah! Woo, nigga! Hey, the mitochondria has an explosion. And when it has this implosion, so he doesn't even know that there's a difference between explosion and implosion, right? The mitochondria has an explosion. And so when it has the implosion, it sends an electrical current through your artery or your vein. He don't know that arteries and veins are not the same thing. He don't know that arteries and veins is not the same thing. And there's no electrical uh, shot from an explosion of mitochondria going into your artery or your vein. Like that's, <laughs> yo. Not only do he not understand food, because you can't understand food if you don't understand how the food gets to the cell. Right. But he don't understand respiration. He don't understand breathing, the purpose of oxygen. Like you can't if you make these statements, you can't understand the body if you don't understand the difference between a vein and an artery. Now, if we want to say that mitochondria is a, another level with more complex, more, more complex. OK, fine. But if you don't know the difference between a vein and an artery. Bruh. It goes into your your heart, your lungs, your your brain. You know your your um all all of your bodies come to life because of the electrical current. Uh, uh heart, your lungs, your your. Look at look at my reaction. Look at hold on. Look at my reaction. Brain. Look at my reaction. Hold on. I want to zoom in on me. While he going into this diatribe, I want to try to pay attention to me while this is happening. And when it has this implosion, it sends out an electrical current through your artery, through your vein. From your vein, it goes into your, your heart, your lungs, your, your brain, you know, your, your, um, all, all of your bodies come to life because of the electrical currents that are going from your cells into your organs. That's one. Okay. okay, so uh, when we can, when we consume, we hold, hold on, on a second. On. I'm a, I'm a land. I'm a land. Don't. I'm not. I'm not going to be that long winded. So when we consume, we consume to feed our cell. I was trying to stop him from digging the hole so deep. <laughs> okay, so that our cell can continuously have this 
little combustion of electric electrical current to dis get dispensed to our organs, okay? When we consume things that are acidic, they, they kill our cell, they do not feed our cell, and they cause deficiency to our cells and our body. What type of things are acidic? There's uric acid. Uric acid comes from meat. Lactic acid. Lactic acid comes from un... Well, not, not, not let me say unnatural... Um, People got to stop trying to remix Dr. Sabi all these years later. It's over. That Sabi wave is over, respectfully. He's an OG. He's passed on. We got to let him rest in greatness. All these guys is destroying the Dr. Sabi legacy, coming on sounding like idiots. Your body creates uric acid anytime you eat in protein from any source. It don't matter if you put make a hemp smoothie. <laughs> now, you will have more from meat than you will from, you know, hemp or a plant-based source because plant sources have phytic acid to help buffer the acids or whatever the case may be. But uric acid is just a part of the metabolism of protein period lactic acid does not come from beef <laughs> yo lactic acid every single animal on earth that has muscle tissue produces lactic acid okay when your muscles are producing energy with oxygen anaerobically right that's your slow twitch muscles and your type one fast twitch muscle there's a point where the oxygen is not going to match the metabolism rate based on how much energy your, your muscle cell need or whatever, right? At that point, right, now you got to switch off oxygen-based energy production, right? The oxygen ran out. So now you're going to start having lactic acid building up. All muscles, when you exercise, build up lactic acid once the energy is like that's it don't matter what you eat. If you ate, if you go to the gym and you have a thorough workout and you ate lollipops for breakfast or Reese's peanut butter cups or Kit Kats, you're going to produce lactic acid. If you add a whole paleo morning and you ate like uh, the the lion, the muscle king, whatever his name is, you had raw testicles and raw livers and whatever, raw meat, you're going to produce lactic acid when you get to the gym. If you had all grapes for breakfast, grapes and bananas and mangoes and watermelons, and you work out, you're going to produce lactic acid. Like... This is all gobbledygook, and it's insane that people like this are running around. This is why, when y'all ask me, especially Osborne, I, shout out to Osborne. When Osborne asks me all the time, how do I have the patience for these people? I don't. I have the patience for the people that watch these people. That's how I can try to stomach some of this foolishness. Because my thing is to try to reach the people that these people. My thing is to try to reach the people that these people are teaching. Because this is dangerous. Unnatural um, species, right? It'll come from a natural species, but a, a species other than a true. Um, Unnatural, um, let me say, acid comes from our body. What type of things are acidic? There's uric acid. Uric acid comes from meat. Lactic acid. Lactic acid comes from un. Well, not not, not let me say unnatural, um, unnatural um, species. Right? It'll come from a natural species, but a a species other than a human. So. Because our bodies pretty see, but a um, species.
um, un, well, not, not, not let me say uric acid. Uric acid comes from meat. Lactic acid comes from a species other than humans. Like, yo. <laughs> yo. <laughs> yo. And this nigga somewhere selling some people some shit after these type of speeches. Because, again, the common public is so uneducated that anything that sounds sciency is sound like he know what he's talking about. No. No. Listen, no. <laughs> and I know you got some version of this nigga in your neighborhood trying to sell you some sea moss or alkaline dinner. You got to stop this shit. Lactic acid. Lactic acid comes from un... Well, not, not, not let me say unnatural. Um, unnatural um, species, right? It'll come from a natural species, but a, a species other than a human. So, because our bodies produce uric acid... Hold on for a second. Our bodies produce uric acid and lactic acid. But this is a specific uric acid that is produced in our bodies to digest food. The, the same thing with lactic acid. It's naturally produced in our systems. The lactic acid that we're given is from a different species, from a, a cow. One, a cow is, is man-made. A cow was grafted by man. A cow is not natural. The original cow is called the wild ox. So if you're not getting natural meat from a wild ox and you're getting it from the cow, your beef, even if it's Wagyu or whatever, you're getting um, grafted meat, meat that was, ma that was made from a grafted animal, the chicken as well. The original chicken is called the wild fowl, right? The wild fowl, you cannot get a wild fowl nowadays. You get this grafted, hybridized version of the Yo, look at me. <laughs> Yo, I can't with these goofy niggas. You know, you get this chicken, right? So, but all meat, even if it's fish, chicken, or beef, causes uric acid. Uric acid is the leading, leading cause to gout, um, heart disease, uh, lung disease, um, clogged arteries. Um, clogged brain tissues, so forth and so This is what happens when remixing other people's material goes bad. I could tell when he's mixing me in with this guy, with that guy, with the uric acid, gout, stop. Uric acid, Gout, stop. Don't go uric acid, heart disease, brain disease, this one, that one. <laughs> because see, that's the salesman thing. That's the salesman thing. That's just saying a lot of stuff. That's like you, you trying to stand in front of somebody and sell some shit. So you're just going to keep saying anything until you like beat their brain into submission because they're tired of listening to you saying things they don't understand. And when people don't understand, the way you present yourself will lead the person to believe that you know more than they do. But trust me, people out there, 99% of these guys are just making up shit as they go along with the idea in their mind that you don't know enough to discern right from wrong. So they're just going to tell you a whole bunch of gobbledygook and then point to the shit they selling. And it's a guarantee. I don't know this nigga from a hole in the wall, but it's a guarantee this nigga somewhere selling herbs or alkaline dinners. I seen him before. Not him, but his kind. There's a thousand of these, these niggas in every neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? Trying to fake like they... It's disgusting. So on, right? So carbonic acid comes from fake wheat. When we don't eat natural wheat and we eat fake pasta, brown rice pasta, semolina pasta, you know, 
these wheats that are not natural, they're not spelt, they're hybridized. They're not spelt, they're hybridized. Can somebody please contact this goofy nigga respectfully and say, brother, spelt is a hybrid. You need to go to Dr. Inky's channel and become a student. Come become a student. This is the problem. I'm going to tell you the problem. The problem is these guys make a few dollars. And I keep saying this because this is the same thing that happened to Victor. When I first met Victor, lovely young man. I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm going to school him, get him together. And he going to go crazy. He start making the money, presenting himself as Dr. Sebi's son. And because he's making so much money, these people feel like they don't need to learn. So this guy somewhere selling a whole bunch of food in the name of Dr. Sebi or a whole bunch of herbs, whatever, Alkaline City. And he don't know his asshole from his ear. It's really shameful what they're doing to Dr. Sabi's legacy. You know, um, it's not Kamut, Corasian wheat, which is, um, it's an Egyptian wheat. You know, these are natural wheats, but we're, we're not getting. Now, where he get that from? It's not Kamut. <laughs> it's not Kamut, right? What page is that? What page is that on in the Eat Right book? What what page is that on in the Eat Right book? Somebody open up the Eat Right for your haplotype book and tell me what page that's on. Like, literally, I could open my book up and talk super crazy and then go even further as to say, When did you hear about Kamut before Dr. Inky? Oh, I didn't even put spell or Kamut in the Eat Right book. I put Einkorn. Okay. I, I discredit myself. <laughs> if you don't know what Einkorn is, go look that up. <sighs> I can't even dumb my I can't even dumb myself down to play with these niggas. We're not consuming spell. We're not consuming kamut. And we're going to the semolinas or the brown rice pastas and all these other fake wheat pastas. It causes something called carbonic acid. Carbonic acid is, is another detriment to, to cell deficiency and, and a loss to, uh, um, you know, oxygen in our bloods, oxygen in our brains, neurologic, neurological dis disorders, ADD, ADHD, Alzheimer's, so forth and so on. So, and then the last but not least. Carbonic acid is formed from CO2 and water. CO2 and water. Our bodies produce CO2 no matter what it is that we eat. If we eat meat, we're going to have carbon left over that we have to combine with oxygen to turn into CO2 to get rid of. If we eat plants... We're going to have carbon left over from metabolism that we got to combine with oxygen to make CO2 to get rid of. If we eat candy canes, Kit Kats, and Reese's peanut butter cups, we're going to produce CO2 from the metabolism of glucose that we got to get rid of. Like, this is all gobbledygook. I mean, like, it's, it's shameful. least is the lactic acid we are always consuming cheese we're consuming is the lactic acid and so on so and then the last but not le least is the lactic acid we are always consuming cheese we're consuming milk the milk comes like i said if we were to consume milk we can consume breast milk from our own species but when we Go outside of our species to consume this lactic, this lactosis that gets into our body. 
that that eventually turns into a lactic acid it's because the molecular struct the molecular structure from the dna of the of of the cow is is not it doesn't coincide and this is one of the reasons why I said I got to leave books behind because he's doing a poor job of trying to remix some Dr. Inky shit right here. I am literally the first person ever on earth anywhere to tell people that um, being lactose intolerant has more to do with the foreign proteins from the animal than it does with the sugar because lactose is a combination of glucose and galactose so yes there's an enzyme required to break lactose down into glucose and galactose so your body can metabolize it some people have more of that active enzyme than others fine but this is why i have the books this is why I have, this is one of the reasons so that after I'm dead and gone, they are not going to do me like they doing Dr. Sabi. <laughs> this shit, they doing the Sabi shit is, yo, yo, this shit crazy. I'm not having it. Inside with the molecular structure of the DNA from the human. So we oh. are... Bro, bro, we, we are Wait, eating. I gotta stop you. I got to uh, yeah, no, I'm gonna let you go right now. I just want to say right here. We are just eating um foods that are acidic, that are not alkaline to our body, that are that are not feeding our cells, and that and that are ca causing uh uh electrical um dysfunctions in our body as opposed to you know um gaining electrical currents and voltage to keep our organs alive. I digress. Okay. Cool. Uh, bro, let me say this. Anybody who wants to learn, listen, anybody who wants to learn more about this, right? Here's a book right here, right? Here's one book you can go to Amazon and get. It's called Mitochondria Water, right? That's a really good uh, place to start if you want to learn more about how the mitochondria work. If you want to learn about electricity in the body, right i have a great book and this is this is my probably my new favorite but it's called the electrician manual right this is called the electrician manual the melanin book you could go on amazon and get this right now the electrician manual the melanin book if you want to understand your body as a system of electronics Go and get that book, The Electrician Manual, right? I, I'm, I'm just trying to give you tools to, to get some education. Almost everything you said was incorrect. I can prove everything I said. I can prove everything I said. And you, you just tell me where I'm incorrect and I'll prove it to you. Now, see, right here is where I'm telling you that this is more about hustle than ego or anger or anything you're going to see him start acting real crazy remember at the beginning he said inky you're the smartest guy on hok and this and the system the par you're the smartest woman on hok he's going to start going crazy in just a matter of seconds and the reason is is because he's watched enough of my videos to know how these videos turn out he doesn't want to be the other guy. You know, when you dunk on somebody, there's the guy dunking the ball, and then there's the guy like that with the nutsack in his face. He doesn't want to have my nutsack in his face. Pause. And, hey, I can respect him for that. But he wound up, you know, when, they, when you fear something, you make the thing that you fear happen. <laughs> so you're going to see him try to stop me from talking. Like literally, soon as I, I, I probably can't get to my third or fourth word in a sentence before he's, and shout out to his microphone. His microphone is kicking my microphone's ass. I, I can't front. Whatever microphone he got is amazing. But watch this. This is, and I'm telling you, this is fear. This is not anger. 
This is not, well, it's probably a little bit of a beta male trying to pretend to be alpha or something like that, but it's mostly rooted in fear because, like I said, these guys build up hustles selling food or herbs or whatever, basing it off the fact that they know the science of the body. And that only seems appealing or works. It's like when Nature Boy was taking them kids out into the woods and all that. Like That only works to people that don't know anything. So you mix up a whole bunch of gobbledygook with a, a few key phrases that everybody knows is true. So you say a whole bunch of crazy stuff like your mitochondria explodes and then electricity goes from the, the cell into the arteries into your brain. And then you follow up a whole bunch of that kind of gobbledygook with, and we know that the food is bad for us and it's making us sick. Okay, hold on. Yes, the food is bad for us. It's making us sick. That doesn't mean that your mitochondria explodes and electric, like, no, no. To the people that do this for real, you're embarrassing. To the people whose legacy you're trying to build on, you're embarrassing. Dr. Sabi is rolling over. Dr. Sabi done rolled so much in his grave. That shit should be a new fucking dance. Dr. Sabi, I can't even say Sabi is rolling over in his grave. This shit disgusting. Sabi done did 360s. <laughs> Oh okay. shit! You said that. Oh wait, wait, hold on. I just want to let you know before you start with everything I uh, is to keep our organs alive. I digress. Okay. Cool, uh, bro. Almost everything you said was incorrect. I can prove everything I said. I can prove everything I said, and you, you just tell me where I'm incorrect, and I'll prove it to you. Okay. You said that. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. I just want to let you know before you start with me, I'm not one of them. I'm not one of them. You don't you don't know who you're talking to, my man. I will really spank you. And before you I embarrass you, co-heartedly, my man, learn what you're about to tell me and what you're about to ask me, and make sure that you're correct before you get embarrassed. Now, start with your first where I'm incorrect so we can start there. Okay. I am not one of them. I, I got a new question. This wasn't one of my questions, but after that little tirade there, I would like you to elaborate on what is one of them. You know who's one of them. One of, the, one of these... Um, people that come up on the panel and you act like you could so call banter them and you can you know outwitty them with your so-called intelligence where well whatever you make of it and if you think that's going to happen you know by you trying to second guess and question any of my authority trust me i got everything configured yo <laughs> Yo, I now this is the this is this is the complimentary part. You know what I'm saying? He says a lot of disrespectful stuff, but this ain't it. I take this as sheer flattery that men are jealous of how intelligent I am. Because see, for years and rest in greatness, shout out to Azariah. You know what I'm saying? That was the first person that told me, bro, you was meant to be a teacher. I want you to quit your job. And stop missing your calling for life. God wants you to teach. I've never met anybody that knows this. And just like the way you learn it so fast, it's, it's, it's amazing. This is Brother Azariah telling me this like the first or second time I met him. And stayed on me consistently. Like, no, you got to get out of that job. And I was like, nah, bro, I got too many children. He was like, no, God is going to get you out of that job. Your job, you're supposed to be a teacher. But, um... May he rest in greatness, man. This is a compliment that other men, because my saying used to be, if I could change the trend, I could change the world. I just want to make it cool to be intelligent again, you know, because when I was young, reading was not cool. I used to have to beat niggas up behind reading books. That's a good thing that I knew how to fight. You know what I'm saying? 
you know, I had a lot of uncles and, and you know, going to jail, coming out, going to Vietnam and all kind of crazy shit. So, you know, I could, yeah, I could, I could you know, I could put you down. <laughs> I could put you down. You know what I'm saying? So, but I, I knew that, you know, reading wasn't cool. You know what I'm saying? So I, I just always wanted to make it cool to be smart. You know what I'm saying? Cool to be intelligent. Cool to read a book. And with guys like this, you know, him, Lord Ab, and some of these other guys, when they show that they're jealous of how intelligent I come across on video, that's a compliment to me. I'll get back to the video, but I just had to say that. I appreciate that, you know, now the thing is, you can tell who's a man and uh, uh, alpha or sigma man type of man versus beta males. Beta males cannot give a compliment. When beta males see that you have a good quality, they get angry and jealous of it as opposed to saying, damn, bro, you know, you you smart or damn, bro, you know, that's a nice outfit or, you know, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like they think it takes something away from them. And I keep trying to say, all you niggas got to do is read. I'll pull up, I'll screen share, and I'm, my, you know, he's on what is one of them? You know who's one of them. One of the, one of these um, people that come up on the panel and you act like you could so-called banter them and you can, you know, outwitty them with your so-called intelligence where well whatever you make of it and if you think that's going to happen you know by you trying to second guess and question any of my authority trust me i got everything configured i'll pull up i'll screen share and i'm always yo my man said i got everything configured but look just proof of what i'm telling you if you think you're going to question my authority, right? So this is not about right or wrong. This is not about learning or teaching. This is about him hustling and selling shit, right? Because authority is something that you can only have over other people, right? Authority is something you exercise over people. So what he's really scared of is me challenging him in a way that his audience begins to go, holy shit, this guy really don't know anything about the body. And he don't. You know what I'm saying? Like, he don't. Sarnetta taste. this is how Sarnetta thought this guy was sharp. And this is what's going on. Sarnetta said, I tasted his food. It tastes real good. So I know he know what he's talking about when it comes to the health. And I'm like, no, Sarnetta, that's not, that's that, that's not this. That just means that he know how to cook. Think about it. Our grandmas know how to cook. They've been cooking for years. And that shit, they cook and giving us heart disease and all kind of crazy shit. Knowing how to cook don't mean you know biochemistry. Knowing how to cook don't mean you know anatomy. And anatomy and biochemistry are prerequisites before you call yourself some type of fucking health expert. Excuse my language. Is ready, my brother. So if you want to get embarrassed, we can go. Okay. That's if you're oh. against me. I don't know if you're against me or not. You know, I'm with the alkaline community. I represent, you know, an alkaline lifestyle. But if you, if you're on my side, but if I'm on his side, that was now that I took mad disrespectful. I took that more disrespectful than some of the statements that y'all might think. Like he said, I think he's a clown. Well, he called me a clown or what. People in the chat went crazy. Oh, he said Inky's a clown. That's mad disrespectful. No. To me, it's more disrespectful by him assuming that he has a side. Bro, you don't have no side. You little niggas got to be out of y'all minds, bro. You don't have a side. You're a nobody. You're trying to become a somebody. You don't have a side. Queen Afua has a side. Dr. Africa, resting greatness, has a side. Dr. Sabi, of course, the GOAT, the retired GOAT, the Billy GOAT, right? These are people that have a side. 
Dr. Inky has a side. You're a pipsqueak. You're a no, you, you don't even know the difference between an artery and a vein. You, you don't have a side, nigga. You haven't even earned the, you don't, like, what? <laughs> Yo, how, Sway? I don't even know if you're on my side. A side? <laughs> Yo, these niggas is crazy. Aside. Now that to me was disrespectful. I just want to know who these people shared stages with. Who did these people share stages with? I'm just trying to figure that out. Because I've been on the stage with... All the heavyweights except for Dr. Sagan. All of the heavyweights, coast to coast, coast to coast. As a peer, listen to what I'm saying. With the heavyweights on stage as a peer. And sometimes, <laughs> hey, <laughs> sometimes <laughs> even for the greats, It'd be hard to share a stage with Dr. Inky. So I'd have been on coast to coast, Canada to the damn Mexico. You, uh, any health expert, especially in the black, brown, huh? You got a side, nigga. Who are you? Nobody even know your name. And not Alkaline City. That's not a. That's not your name. Like, bro, these niggas be beside themselves. And he don't know the difference between an artery and a vein. He's talking about he got a side. <laughs> but you're looking to go against me and you want to do that, I'll embarrass you that way too. On my side, you know, I don't know if you're against me or not. You know, I'm with the alkaline community. I represent, you know, alkaline lifestyle. But if you if you're on my side, but you're looking to go against me and you want to do that, I'll embarrass you that way too. Okay. I've been doing this for years, my brother. Learn who I am before you okay. try to. I'm telling you, don't don't embarrass yourself. Okay. Well, listen. Here's the thing. When you say doing this for years, right? I could respect that, but you haven't been doing it long enough to actually have a side. So, so by you saying that you're teaching alkaline, you don't know how long I've been doing this. So. You're just misjudging once again. I said, stay in your lane, my brother. Say what you know. Don't step out of line because I'm telling you, I will embarrass you. I'm I'm 45 years old, my man. Okay. I've been doing this since I was 21 years old. 45. I, 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 add another what? 24 onto that? Hold on, hold on, hold on. You've been 24 doing years onto that? Hold on, hold on. When you say you've been doing this okay. for 24 years. I've been right? in the alkaline community for 24 years. Yes, sir. Hold on, hold on. You're saying that you've been teaching this science for 24 years or you've been eating plants for 24 years? What you saying? You've been teaching for 24 years? If you want to go into the science of how long I've, I've been, been teaching. You, how long have you been teaching? About 15 of those okay. 24. Okay. So let's go to what the first statement that you said was. Yo, I got to stop it again. Listen, let me tell y'all something. You're not teaching. Listen, you're not teaching if you are not studied. Let me say that again. You're not teaching if you're not studied. You're not teaching if you're not studied. Teaching is not, I've read Dr. Sabi's food list and I listened to Dr. Sabi say acid, alkaline. Oh, I got it. I got it. Here's the food list and acid alkaline. That's it. All I need to do is keep saying that over and over. Yeah, it's acid alkaline. Look, it's just eat this food right here. Here's the food. Here's the food list. You're not teaching. You're regurgitating. You're repeating, right? And when you claim credit, you're plagiarizing. So you're regurgitating, you're repeating, and you're plagiarizing. You're not teaching.
To be a teacher, you have to be a student. To be a teacher, you have to be a student. You cannot be <clears throat> anybody's actual student of the body if you don't know the difference between arteries and veins. Just respectfully. That our cells are combustion. That our first statement that you... Okay, so let's go to what the first statement that you said was that our cells are combustion engines did you say combustion engines or that the, the cells are little combustion units i just want to go part by part to make sure that i don't miss say anything that you know i don't want to misspeak so did you because i what i heard you say was that our cells are mitochondria which combust and when they combust, electricity goes from the cell into our arteries and veins. I, I now I can elaborate what I said. No, no, I said I was saying, cell, I said our cells are little combustion chambers. Okay. When you feed your cell, you feed the mitochondria, and the mitochondria has an implosion. And that's the combustion of the mitochondria. That's what disperses the electricity from the cell out into the artery. Do you know what the arteries are? The arteries okay, are your veins. On. Okay, hold on, hold on. Hold I'm on. just letting you know that. I'm just letting you know that. But do you but, know? Do you, do you know what is in the? Bro, you gotta relax. I know you excited to be here, but you gotta relax. No, I'm not excited to be here. I'm just trying to. A I'm just trying to correct not, you. Hold on, hold on. Listen. I'm trying to correct artery, you. No, listen. Before you step bro, out of line, bro, you gotta relax. Artery I don't gotta relax. Veins. I don't gotta relax. Arteries I am relaxed. I'm very artery. calm. Arteries and veins are not the same thing. An artery That's is a vein. An artery is a vein, my friend. Look it okay. up. How much do okay. you want to bet? How okay, much look, do you want to bet on it? Look, look, look. So you, so I, I, we, I let you have that. We'll move on from there. Artery is a vein. Oh, you want to let me have that? No, just, just, just let the people know. Arteries are veins. You're wrong. I'm right. Number two. This is what I'm saying when it's so many things that's incorrect because i wasn't even trying to make the fact that he doesn't know the difference between the artery and the vein like to me that wasn't the funniest part i was trying to get to some comedy you know how i get down so i was trying to to you know poke fun with the the mitochondria exploding and then electricity shooting into the artery <laughs> like that but and you see, I tried to move past that. You know what? Let me just let you have, you know, yeah, let me let you just have that. Let's go to the next thing. He's like, no, artery is a vein. No, no, a artery is a vein. <laughs> Yo, I'm telling you, y'all thought I was bullshit when I said he don't know the difference between arteries and veins. Arteries I don't gotta relax. Veins. I don't gotta relax. Arteries I am relaxed. I'm very arteries. calm. Arteries and veins are not the same thing. An artery That's is right. a vein. An artery is a vein, my friend. Look it okay. up. How much do okay. you want to bet? How okay, much look, do you want to bet on it? Look, look, look. So you, so I, I, we, I let you have that. We'll move on from there. Artery is a vein. Oh, you want to let me oh. have that? No, just, just, just let the people know. Arteries are veins. You're wrong. I'm right. Number two. What? What are, what makes up the, the, the inside of an artery that's living in your body? Okay, hold on. What are the parts that, what are the parts sure. that are flowing through your artery? Sure. Let's stick with the mitochondria. No, 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 no. Because you want to bring up the artery and then you just made a misconjuncture by saying that the I arteries are not veins. <laughs> yeah, a misconjuncture. Yo. Now we gotta roll back these reactions. I want y'all to first, first. <laughs> this nigga say I made a misconjuncture. Listen. So when he say I made a misconjuncture, listen. I, I want you. I'm gonna roll it back, and we're gonna look in the pod, and then we're gonna look at me. This shit right here is pure comedy. Watch this shit here.
Oh, what other parts? With the plant-based ideology, yeah, but all of his all of his science is just incorrect. You know what I'm oh, saying? Lord. Like, yeah. and, it, and it can't. I can't. You know, go along with that. So that's. I want y'all to stay. I don't gotta relax. Veins, I don't gotta relax. I am relaxed. Veins, I'm very arteries, calm. Arteries and veins are not the same thing. An artery that's is right. a vein. An artery is a vein, my friend. Look it okay. up. How much do okay. you want to bet? How okay, much look, do you want to bet on it? Look, look, look. So you, so I, I, we, I let you have that. We'll move on from there. Artery is a vein. Oh, you want to let me oh. have that? No, just, just, just let the people know. Arteries are veins. You're wrong. I'm right. Number two. What, what are, what makes up the 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 inside of an artery that's living in your body? Okay, hold on. What are the parts that? What are the parts sure. that are flowing through your artery? Sure. Let's stick with the mitochondria. No, 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 no. Because you want to bring up the artery and then you just made a misconjuncture by saying that the I arteries are not veins. <laughs> yeah, a misconjuncture on what you just said, saying the arteries are not a vein. Yo, this shit crazy. Did you see that look on face? That right there is priceless. Priceless. I should screenshot this shit and make it a meme. Let me screenshot this shit. I, this might have to be a meme right here. This might have to turn into a meme right here. And I'm going to put misconjecture on this shit. <laughs> Yo, this is epic. All right, now let's rewind it back so you can see me bust out laughing. This shit crazy. That's living in your body. Okay, hold on, what hold are on. the parts that what are the parts sure. that are flowing through your artery? Sure. Let's stick with the mitochondria. No, 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 no. Because you want to bring up the artery and then you just made a misconjuncture by saying that the I arteries are not veins. <laughs> yeah, a misconjuncture on what you just said, saying the arteries are not a vein. Now you're saying. made a misconjuncture by saying that the I arteries mean, are not veins <laughs> yeah a misconjuncture on what you just said saying the arteries are not a vein now you're saying oh, i'll let you, you now, now i said yes they are now that you really researched and thought into your head well the arteries are veins you said i'll let you have that so you're not going to let me have anything my friend i'm going to let you continue on to going into this artery spill because now that we know it's a vein what flows through this vein? Go ahead, really fast. What's so, in the vein? So, what flows um, through the vein? Now, <clears throat> this is important right here. Because this is where I keep trying to explain to y'all. When the audience is uneducated and uninformed, or even worse, misinformed, they have to go by body language and stuff like that. So a lot of times when I refuse to answer these guys' questions, right, because they're used to a certain way of conversations flowing, they think that means that the other guy has somehow scored a point or he's got me, you know, like, yeah, he's got Inky because Inky. No, I have self-respect, and you have to be at a certain you can't command me to answer like these is little nick that's like that's like chase or caleb or like one of my sons literally de demanding that i am like what flows through a vein bro that's disrespectful to ask me <laughs> what like i don't need to to respond to those types of things like i got come on you know what I'm saying? Like that's, but it's important for us in this type of setting to be able to look back at this because I need the people to be inspired to educate themselves. Go to Amazon, grab my books and start studying, right? Go to Amazon now, grab the books and start studying. Let this be a lesson of what you might look like if you're not studying and you out there trying to drop some health information. You might be looking like this nigga here. 
these are only the facts. And I want my people out there looking sharp. I do not want my people out there looking like these people that's representing Dr. Sabi. And all of these niggas selling alkaline foods and services is representing Dr. Sabi. Period. And this guy saying he 45. Where was he at when Sabi was alive? Where was all these niggas at when Sabi was alive? Because I was rocking and rolling when Sabi was alive. And correcting Sabi information where I disagree with it while he was alive. Where was these niggas? Quiet as church mouses trying not to make a sound pissing on cotton. I was touring the country. <laughs> With other doctors. <laughs> oh my God. This shit is so crazy. Blood, blood. I'll give you one. Blood. What else? That flows through this vein. Go ahead. Really out that you will let you have that. So you're not gonna let me have anything, my friend. I'm gonna let you continue on to going into this artery spill because now that we know it's a vein, what flows through this vein? Go ahead, really fast. What's so, in the vein? So, what flows um, through the vein? Blood, sir, blood. I'll give you one. Blood. What else? Sir. What else? Cells. Cells number two. Cells number two. Cells number two. What else? What else feeds the cells that's that's in the blood? What else feeds the cells that's in the blood? You're trying to look it up. Uh, platelets. Platelets. Do you know what the platelets are? Yes. The cells, little friends, they flow in the blood. So, and what is the blood called? What is the blood called, called that flows through the vein? What is the name of it? Mr. Anki, you're so smart. What is the name of the blood? Plasma. Plasma, my friend. So we got arteries, which are veins. We got the blood, which is plasma. We got the cells, right, which are red and white blood cells. And then we got the platelets, which feed the cells. Okay. What else are the? Or uh, you can go ahead, Miss Nepal. You could go ahead. Okay. So, do you you know Alkaline City that Inky is a? Uh, oh, I know. I know very well who Inky is, but he's no, not on. He's not, not on my level. Finish my same sentence. Oh, he's, apologize. A, he's on this panel. He's a vegan as well. He's pro veganism. Yeah, I know he's just trying to go against me, but I don't know why if he's pro-vegan and, and, and he's on my side, but I'm just letting him know that he's he's talking to the wrong one. That Whatever you got, brother, you better make sure you're on my side. If you're against me, you're going to have a hard time. Very hard time. And I'm showing him that right now because I'm, I'm dealing with him. So what's up, my brother? What's next? What's next on your agenda of let's question Alkaline City to see how smart he is? Bro, you're just showing. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, duh, duh. Let him speak, brother. Alcohol, alkaline, let him speak, please. Bro, bro, that's not speaking. That's just the sagging. Okay, Word take sagging. a deep breath and let's keep this in order. Let's keep this a good build. So go ahead, Inky. I think Sonetta yeah, stepped I, away. Yeah, so let brother's him... just showing that he's belligerent. That's all he's doing. He, no, he, he's I'm just doing. showing that. That you just I, want I to try to try you try to you try to demean me with the here, first man? word, and you cannot do it, my brother. Oh, come on. Let, let him have a, um, a, a let him respond, brother. No, 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 no. Could you mute out I, for a second? Yeah, I got him. Listen, he just want to just keep talking over me because he he he's seen enough videos <laughs> to know <laughs> how this thing looks. So. I seen enough videos to know that you're a super clown, and I wasn't up here to clown you. Oh, I was actually up here, and uh, I was going to no name calling, brother. Please, on on both sides, on all sides, there's absolutely call name. calling. Stop, stop. Can I jump in, sir? If I, if I said clown, I didn't mean to say that. Yes, go ahead, Armin Ra. Hey, how y'all doing, man? Peace to the channel. Uh, peace to the chat. Peace, peace. Uh, sister Napa Inky. Uh, brother Al Clown. Brother Alcon, I want to say I appreciate your bill, your scholarship, brother, but you are incorrect when it comes to arteries and veins. Arteries are vessels that carry blood away from the heart, and veins carry blood back to the heart. Two separate systems, totally. 
So if you, when you say that, you make yourself look, uh, let's just say, uninformed. So don't don't let nobody else hear you say that because you're completely wrong. And then you just dig yourself a dig a deeper and deeper ditch. Because when we brother, when brother, I, you're completely I, brother. Our artery no, is listen. Uncle Klein, you gotta let him. You gotta finish. listen. You can't cut people off, brother. Yeah, just let me finish. If I'm cutting the grass and, and doing this with my kids, I'm gonna go and let you rock. But arteries leave the left side of the heart with oxygenated blood and nutrients and carry that to the body. After that's used up, that deoxygenated blood and, and, and used up nutrients return to the right side of the heart via the veins. Those are two separate systems, brother. So when you jump down somebody's throat and call them, you know, clowns, and then you say that, you are actually the clown. I'm just letting you know you're incorrect completely. So you might want to stop. Okay, now, now I can correct you, my brother. No, I am not incorrect. Arteries are veins. Okay. No. Now, 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 if you're trying to talk about specific, I want to go into the heart artery. What about the lung artery? Okay. <laughs> now, <laughs> now, now, now you're looking. Now you're trying. Now you're trying to look for. Now you. We gotta stop this. Hold on. Sarnetta, we have to yeah. stop this. I Listen, I understand, Sai. Let me just say this to you, Sai. Go ahead, go I ahead. I understand that you like to bring on new guys and all that. Brother, don't but, try to put me down, brother. Let's, let, 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 let the science let the science speak for it, bro. Okay, <laughs> all okay. Right. Understand, on, let, let your scholarship speak for it. Don't try to demean me because it don't matter if I'm new, you're old, brother. And right. I'm older than you, but you're still old. I'm you understand? Wrong. Brother, you're wrong, though. Try not oh, to put on. the brother down. Just, just drop on. the knowledge, Inky. Go ahead. No, nah, you don't. Sorry. This Go is ahead. not about putting nobody down, but there's a difference between... Listen, I've seriously been doing this for decades. I'm in Ron McCarthy. This is what he do. I'm in Ron McCarthy. Real quick, for the people, once again, for the thousandth time, can you tell these people what your expertise is, who you are exactly? I'm a registered respiratory therapist. I specialize in cardiopulmonary therapy. I also, okay, teach, so, so, I also so, teach pulmonary therapy at a college. Mm. So, so this is what I'm saying, Sa. When you just pulling guys up and the brother's saying the heart artery, the lung artery, and he wants to argue with us and say that veins are arteries and all this kind of stuff, it, it really is detracting from, because me and Nepal was going at it, but you know, we was at a certain level with the conversation. You know what I'm saying? No disrespect to the brother, but this ain't this ain't it, bro. <laughs> he's talking right now. He doesn't know he's muted. Okay. Um, um Alkaline City. First, let me say this, brother. You know, this is a really very tough environment. And um yeah, people don't play over here, brother. So you can't get upset and get mad if you're wrong. Sometimes it's all right to say, you got that one. My bad. Because we're not... Mike, check. Mike, check. Oh, no, no. I'm not mad, Sinatra. This ain't a tough environment. I'm not in a tough situation <laughs> right now. I'm in a very light situation. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. With, 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 with light work right now. So they want to try to undermine what I'm saying. I'll pull it up right now. Veins are arteries. There you go. So, there you yeah, go. Yeah, you want, so we're gonna have up, we're gonna have to start screen sharing. That's what we're gonna have to start there doing. Go. There you go. Let me screen uh, share for you guys. Okay, well, while you screen sharing, yeah, I go can, ahead. I can understand what you mean. They're both vessels, right. but there are two totally different vessels, brother. What you mean they're both there for you guys? Okay, well, while you screen sharing, yeah, can, go ahead. I can understand what you mean. They're both vessels. But right. there are two totally different vessels, bro. They're not the same thing. And they are intertwined by what you call capillaries at the sure. tissue level. They are two different things, bro. So, you, I mean, you know, you need to just make sure you say, okay, you, you're wrong. I, you, I'm wrong on that. Let me specify what I mean. Because when you mm. say veins are arteries, you are incorrect. Mm. Bottom line, brother. And it's okay. But you're wrong on that. You know, you, you, now you're in some deep water with me. And inky when it comes to that. Now, the alkaline thing, that's your lane. You know what I'm saying? There are some uh, alkaline and base excess in the blood that I don't think you probably know. But in the, when it comes to the products and the water, that's your lane.
But when it comes to arteries and veins, whatever you look up right now, you you will not find nothing that says arteries are veins. I will give you five hundred dollars if you can screenshot a sentence from anybody. First of all, that arteries are no, 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 Excuse me, Pastor. No, you mean any reputable scientific source? Don't true say that. anybody. True, true that. True that. L listen, listen. Okay, because I I don't, I don't know. Now, at this point right here, you know what I got to get? I got to get the clip of, you know, you done fucked up right now, right? <laughs> Yo, all that crazy shit that went out the window. And I think at this moment is when, you know, and, and let me say pause for this. But I, I think this is the moment when his buck cheeks is wet. You know what I'm saying? And. I think this happens to everybody at least once in their life, and then you learn better. You know what I'm saying? You think you farted, but you sharted. You know what I'm saying? Like you thought you farted, and a little bit of dookie came out. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I think this is the moment where he realized that. Because at this moment, he getting ready to put his tap dancing shoes on and try to tap dance his way back out of this and go, wait, but what, what's going on, though? How come we how, – who started talking about arteries in the first place? <laughs> I've been wondering if these niggas realize that they on video. Like, do you not realize you on video, brother? We could just rewind back and see who <laughs> – Yo, this shit priceless. Where this conversation. True, true that. True that. L listen, listen. Okay. Because I, I, don't, I don't know where this conversation is going with arteries and veins anyway. I just want to figure out where, where, where are you going with arteries and veins? Pull up your source, um, Alkaline. Let's get it, man. Yeah, I'm going to pull up sources. I'm going to pull up. Because I, I, listen, listen. Okay. Because I, I, don't, I don't know where this conversation is going with arteries and veins anyway. I just want to figure out where, where, where are you going with arteries and veins? What happened? Hold on. What happened to I'm right, you wrong, you're a clown. Like, what happened to that guy? Do y'all not just remember that same nigga from about three minutes ago? I'm right, you're wrong. What happened? What, what happened that quick? Where he realized he's talking to a naturopathic doctor and a pulmonary expert. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at this shit. Listen, in the Bronx, we used to say, watch his face when he ace. Watch his face when he ace. Because when the dice is skipping, and you hitting them numbers, uh, let me get that four. Let me, uh, let me get that, let me get that, let me get that fever in the funk house. Uh, head crack. Four, five, six, CeeLo, let me. You got to, and, and the reason why they had this saying is because you have to have the same level of integrity. When you win as when you lose, you got to stay like that, even kill. You got to try to keep your energy like this. That's the mark of a man, being able to win big and lose big. That's the mark of a man. I'm right, you're wrong. That quickly turned into, so how come we, how come we talk about arteries and veins in the, <laughs> woo, nigga. Me, Pastor. No, you mean any reputable scientific source? Don't true say that. anybody. True, true that. True that. L listen, listen. Okay, because I, I don't, I don't know where this conversation is going with arteries and veins anyway. Because I listen, listen. Okay, because I, I don't, I don't know where this conversation is. Okay, because I, I don't, I don't know where this con. Say anybody. True, true that. True that. Listen, listen. Okay. 
Because I, I, don't, I don't know where this conversation is going with arteries and veins anyway. I just want to figure out where, where, where are you going with arteries and veins? Pull up your source, um, Alkaline. Let's get it, man. Yeah, I'm gonna pull up sources. I'm gonna I'm pulling up a whole bunch of sources right now because I'm ready for the smoke. But I'm gonna pull that one up. You won't pull that one up. You, you oh, trust me, trust stuff, but you no, pull I'm, that one up, brother. Oh, I'm gonna pull up all of them. That, that's and, just like saying the sun is the moon. That's just uh, like saying that, listen, bro. That's two different things. Listen, two different things. Not, bro. not, not only, not only when I pull them up, <laughs> right? Not, not, not only when I pull it up, right? <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out. Where where where's this conversation going with arteries and veins anyway? We know that we know we know we know we know this is where blood flows. We know that this is where cells flow. We know that where this is what carries oxygen into into your organs. But that, that's enough. Now, hold on, right there. Veins don't do that. Arteries exactly. do that. <laughs> arteries that? do that. Veins don't carry blood to your to your to your system. Arteries do that, brother. Veins hold carry on, back on. old blood back to the heart so that it can pass through the lungs to get reoxygenated to go back to the left side of the heart and back to the body again through the aorta. That is an artery. So okay. there's two, there are two different vessels, but I'm just saying okay. I don't have no okay. problem with okay. you, but they are two different vessels. Totally. Let me totally. Let me, so let you me might screen. Well stop looking for that. No, 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 no. I'm gonna let me screen share right now. Because wow. you guys are just talking way too much. All right, well, I'm gonna let y'all have that one. Uh, so I appreciate y'all being on the panel. Yeah, he, yeah, he, yeah. He, he talked. He talking about another. I'm in Rob McCarthy. Yeah, he talking about something that's not human. I appreciate it. Have a good day. <laughs> okay, something that's not human. That's my screen. My screen. Sh my screen shares up. Sharing, brother. Let's go. Okay. Let's see if you guys know how to read. Arteries and veins, also called blood. Now you see how he do that. Let's see if you guys know how to read. This works. Listen to what I'm saying. The problem is that this type of bravado works. This type of bravado works when you're speaking to people that don't know and they know that they don't know biochemistry. They know they don't know anatomy. So when you speak to people and you're belligerent and condescending to them to, a, to an extent, it allow it. It's like a psychological trick. It makes that person believe that you're speaking from authority and you're losing patience with them because you know so much about the subject and they know so little about the subject that they're lucky to be learning any of this from you in the first place. Like you, you know, because you could be somewhere gaining more knowledge, but instead you're there sharing with them. <laughs> let's see if they know how to read and then follows up let's see if they know how to read by demonstrating that this brother does not know how to read watch this My screen shares up. Sharing, brother. Let's go. Okay. Let's see if you guys know how to read. Arteries and veins, also called blood vessels. Okay. So they're the same thing. They're called blood vessels. And what do they do? They are tubes of muscle that your blood flows through. He just said blood doesn't flow through the arteries and the only the arteries, not the veins, not the veins. But arteries and veins, also called blood vessels, are tubes. Of muscle that your that your blood flows through, you fucking degenerates. Wow. Oh, I apologize. Wow. I apologize, Sonetta, but they needed that one. They no, needed no, that actually, one. Actually, brother, you 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 are. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I was just wrong. I was just wrong, but I just showed you I'm right. Alkaline the artery, the artery, no, and the vein are the Sorry. same Excuse exactly. Sam, mute this guy for a second. You just showed us that you cannot read good, brother. That did not say that arter arteries are veins. That said that arteries and, and the word was A-N-D, arteries and veins are vessels. It did not say arteries are veins, which are 
vessels. It said arteries, which is one thing. And it said, oh. hold on, relax, young man. And veins are blood vessels. Then if you finish reading that paragraph. That's not what that it says, my brother. I'm going to pull it up again. Sir, you got Yo, video is a mf -er, ain't it? Ain't video a mf -er? I just said to him and repeated over and over. I said, the paragraph, and now mind you, that's his source. I said, the paragraph says arteries and veins. Arteries and veins. Then I spelled it out for him. Arteries, A-N-D, veins. Not arteries are veins which is what he said his source was going to say that arteries are veins so then after i repeat that to him captain belligerent captain caveman that's his nickname captain caveman captain caveman then says so we got two nicknames we got captain caveman let me write this down before i forget this stuff captain caveman right and then we got Geek Squad for Reggie. So Reggie is Geek Squad. Right? Mr. College uh, a Computer Degree. <laughs> <laughs> right? So we got Captain Caveman, Geek Squad, and, and, and I, I, I don't know. We'll, we'll come up with something for Lord Blabber. But watch watch this like you gotta watch this this is the hustle con scammy davis jr this is this is let's watch this and his teacher is fraud muhammad that's where he getting this from not farad fraud fraud this is from a lot of this shit is ali teaching gotta stop no, talking while i'm talking no because you're lying about what sir that parents are Hold on, relax, young man. Artery, arteries, and vein, and the word was a n d. Arteries and veins are vessels. It did not say arteries are veins, which are vessels. It said arteries, which is one thing. And said, oh. hold on, relax, young man. And veins are blood vessels. Then, if you finish reading that paragraph, that's not what that it says, my brother. Door, I'm gonna pull it up again, sir. You gotta stop you talking might. while I'm talking. No, because you're lying about what it says. The if I'm lying, then when I finish talking, you can prove that I'm lying. Yeah, you can't speak while the other one's speaking, brother. It's one mic, y'all. Come on, yeah, no, it's it's I, I, I'm not gonna do this for that much longer. So, this is this is this is uh, foolishness. Look, so again, now that it's on the screen. I can read it right there. See, it says arteries and veins. Nobody's lying on you. Nobody's lying on you or to you, young man. It says arteries and veins. And, meaning two different things. That's why the word and is there. Arteries and veins are blood vessels. I said that, and so did Amin Ra McCarthy. Both of us said they're vessels. But they are not the same. If you would continue to read, it says arteries carry blood away from same the exact the thing. Arteries are Hold it on. says arteries stop and talking. Veins. stop talking, stop talking Hold over me. One mic. It says, You're gonna be able to go right after he finished. It says just what Amin Ra McCarthy said to us that arteries carry blood away from the heart to the rest of the body, while veins push back the blood to your heart. That this is, is what Ross said. Yeah, he said that's that. right. That's this fact. is that, and that's and that's why I'm saying this guy is not only wrong, but he's wrong and strong. Now, the other things that he said don't even exist. There is no lung artery. There is no heart artery. Those are things that people make up when they don't actually know the anatomy. No, I first first of all, hold on for a second. First of all. What I said was, when, you, when you're calling out, because he called out a specific artery, I said, so call out your organ arteries, your heart arteries, your lung arteries, and so forth and so on. That's what I said. That's what I said. Now, if we get back into Whoa, what is, if we get, 
on if what? we get back I'm into what is screen, right now. hold on for a second. No, no. Calm down. Hold on. Do you want to calm down and be a part of this conversation, or or you want to keep behaving like you've been behaving? I want you to 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 mute up because I already muted up, and let me All let right. me get off so what I'm saying. Said, listen, listen. Nepal, we got to do another one. Let me get off what I'm saying. Because you you know I'm going to embarrass you. You're scared to get embarrassed. You're scared to get embarrassed, my friend. you already embarrassed yourself. You're embarrassing embarrassing yourself. Let's get back to it. All right, Inky, don't go nowhere, brother. No, no, no. I'm I'm out. I'm not. I don't do this kind of thing right here, bro. This is is unruly a little bit. This is right. Alkaline. Alkaline. Alkaline, I'm gonna have to let you go. You're gonna have to come do your own show, brother. You gotta come do your own show. The world knew New York as Muslims, yeah. as gods. gods. When I was growing up, we had knowledge itself. I was a god body. I'm still acknowledging myself as that. I had knowledge itself. New York, we need to get back to being civilized. Oh, this gang shit. Off the blood, off the crib. Let's go back Be to sleeping, nigga. Back to the Let's essence. go back to being the civilized. Essence. Peace and blessings out there to everybody. My name is Dr. Inky, the founder of the Melanin versus Diabetes movement and ministry. Our goal is to fight diabetes by creating a biochemically literate society. One book at a time, one person at a time, one household at a time. Join us now by going to amazon.com and getting all of the books, (laughs) getting all of the books that you can afford, um, even if you can't read them all. Share them with family, share them with loved ones. Let's begin the study. And if you need tutoring sessions, tutoring sessions are available at AmericanHealer.website. I can give you one-on-one tutoring through these books. Let's build a biochemically literate society, one person at a time. Thanks in advance. Got the screen on me. Let me show you how I, I, I really flex, Sa. This is how I really flex. Look at this. You see this, Sa? This is how I really flex. This is flexing. Right? This is flexing. Right? And this is just in this last year. All these books right here is on Amazon. I wrote. Not just read. I wrote. That's flexing. <laughs> that's that's the algorithm. That that's the algorithm right there. That's what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? This right here has been a master class of how not to be a bozo. (laughs) How not to be a bozo. Right? All right. Yeah, the Instagram is over. We was on Instagram for a little while, both places. But this is what I'm saying. Everybody has these guys in their city. There's somebody in your city right now telling you that the mitochondria has an explosion and electricity (laughs) shoots out of the cell into the artery and goes into the brain or the heart, the heart artery, (laughs) the lung artery, arteries, our veins. We got to stop this. Like, this is literally what we about. This is why we have the books. This is why we have a book club, right? Literally. And it's crazy that this conversation happens, like, right after I dropped this book, right? So it's not like I did the video last night and then try to write the book. And no, I realized that there was a lot of people that need this information because for a long time we have been listening to people, you know, from Robert Becker who um, on the white side of the health universe is the pioneer in terms of saying that the body's electric in the black universe 
in the health space, Dr. Sabi is the pioneer of saying that the body is electric. So give them their respect for that. But first and foremost, Dr. Inky came and put that all to rest. Dr. Inky came and said that the body is not electric. <laughs> the body runs on light. You have a light body. That's what your body runs on. Not electricity. And I base that on the fact of basic elementary science. <clears throat> when they said the planet was single cell organisms at some point, mitochondria got swallowed up by the progenitors of what would later on become our cells. And they created a symbiotic relationship. That's why your cell has nuclear DNA and mitochondria have their own DNA because that's a separate organism that just lives inside your cells, right? So that's the first part to that understanding. The second part is your, your cells don't use the electrons necessarily for energy. That conversation keeps going back to mitochondria and the electron transport chain. It's the mitochondria that's using the electrons. What your cell uses is the ATP. And ATP is three phosphates. And one of those phosphates gets oxidized. And when you have phosphorus get oxidized, it releases light. That light is what our cells use for energy. Right? So I've been explaining this for probably 15 years now. But anyway, we have finally written an electrician manual where we use analogies on all of the various body parts so you can understand how they work in regards to electronics. Because we do know that electricity does play a role in animating the body, right? We do know that. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm not taking that off the table, um, but just adding more specificity, right? But we need clarity on that, right? We need clarity on that. How do the different parts of our bodies work if they're electric, right? And how do they work together, right? How do they work individually and then how do they work together? You know what I'm saying? Now, when I was talking to Geek Squad, and Geek Squad's not off the hook. So I know Sa might have thought he was saving Reggie by uh, putting somebody else on the altar for me to sacrifice. <laughs> no. We got this book right here. Right? You got some nerve. And what is this book talking about? Your nerves. Your nervous system. Right? Your nerves and your neurons. Right? So we can talk about that. Then we have, and these are just the new books, right? But discussing this very subject, which is what's important, right? We have da -da, the Wah Scepter. We actually have a book on the Wah Scepter. The Wah Scepter is your body's artery. When you get a deeper understanding of it, you can say that the Wah Scepter or your aorta, let's just... You can say that your aorta is the only artery that your body has, right? Now, some people might think that's crazy, but, you know, challenge, you know, play stupid games, win stupid prizes. <laughs> <laughs> but the book is called The Wild Scepter Protein Shake Fountain of Youth, right? And that's part one. And then we have mitochondrial water which is the fountain of youth part two so these two go together this is part one and part two and these are just a couple of the books that i think will help out people with what they have going on right now in terms of not the belligerent guys like this right because i could tell he don't read books but this is for the people who are out there being taken advantage of because you see guys, they have charisma. 
you know, they know how to dress, they know how to, you know, do their nails and put on a nice little outfit and, you know, pull you in with their charisma. And then where you challenge them or ask them questions, they will be very condescending to you and use this little psychological trick and make you believe that somehow, you know, because you're unsure and you're not on the strong footing with the information, that your bullshit radar is wrong. See, a lot of times when you be listening to these guys, your bullshit radar be going off and you know <laughs> that something's wrong. <laughs> Listen, you know that something's wrong. You listening to these guys and you know something's wrong with what you're hearing. But, you know, sometimes it's other people around and you scared to look dumb in front of people and all this and all that. That's one thing that helped me learning. I've never really been scared to be look dumb because I know that looking dumb is a relative thing. Nobody is a genius of everything. That's not how it goes. Einstein knew science, but Einstein might have not knew how to change a tire. You know what I'm saying? I know this shit, but I don't know how to, yo, if my tire, I keep telling people all the time, if my tire go flat while I'm driving, I'm calling AAA. I'm not getting out, just flip no tire or none of that shit. I don't know that. If the toilet get messed up, I'm calling the plumber. I don't know how to fix no toilets. That's not... That's not what I, that's, no. LeBron is a basketball player. LeBron no basketball. He's a basketball savant. When it comes to this information, I'm a biochemistry savant. Outside of that, I don't know, you know. I, <laughs> and that's how it goes. You cannot be afraid to look dumb because you're going to stay dumb. You got to, everybody's teacher is somebody else's student. That's another thing to it. You might be smart in this group because you know third grade science and you hanging out with first and second graders. Cool. When you get around some fifth graders, you're going to be looking like a fish out of water. And I learned that process early because I, you know, my mom and my dad had me reading really early. So by the time I was three, four years old, I was reading the newspaper. So my conversation level was above my age. So I had to keep finding older and older groups of people to be around so that we could be on the same footing intelligence wise. And then through life experiences, I got out on my own early. So now my wisdom and experience is starting to catch up to my to my knowledge you know, my understanding and wisdom starting to catch up to my knowledge. And so it just put me in a different space in terms of my everyday living, which is my culture. You know what I'm saying? So. But that's from constantly seeking out people smarter than me. And that's what you do with books. You go find books written by people that know things you don't know. And you study the book and then you know those things. Now you move on. To something next and you continue to build your study that way you know so you can build up your mind you know but we have to really put it into the charlatans you know and i don't know where in the video i i, I don't want to go find it but there's a part in the video where sonetta says no the brother's sharp because i tasted his food it tastes good and no <laughs> just because he's a good chef doesn't mean that he knows anatomy or biochemistry it does not stop letting these people make you a plate of food and then you all of a sudden believe they're a doctor without demonstrating knowledge of the anatomy and if you don't know the basics of blood arteries versus veins you don't know nothing about the human body we can't go no further if you don't know how mitochondria works then you don't know how food digests in your body because that's where that whole 
process is about the Krebs cycle, tricarboxylic acid cycle, citric acid cycle, however you want to do it, right? That's how you metabolize food, whether you having potato chips, whether you having white bread, wheat bread, chickpeas, pigeon peas, kale salad, or meat salad, whether you having a, a meat lover's pizza from Domino's, all them different things is getting ready to metabolize the same exact way through the Krebs cycle or the tricarboxylic acid cycle or the citric acid cycle, period. If you haven't learned that, you don't know anything about the next steps. You can't discuss mitochondria and this, this and that. And that's not me showing out. Like, I don't even get to pull out no, no challenges. Like, so I was like, you got to sharpen up with these. I can't sharpen up with these guys because they don't know as much or more than me. You got to have a quality sparring match in order to sharpen your skills. If you constantly sparring with dum-dums, that's going to dull your skills. Period. I didn't even get into no, you know, globulins and oxygen. You like, he said, what is it that carries nutrients around the blood? Blood? Platelets? <laughs> Yo, this is why you guys got to get the books. I, I don't know. It's one of the last seven or eight books that I wrote where we really go into this blood thing and how food goes when you eat and it travels through the blood, blah, 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 blah. It might be the aorta book. It might be the aorta book. It might be the, the, the aorta book, the wash septa book, rather. It might be this book, the Wild Side the book. Let me see. Let's actually flip open. Yeah, let's look inside this book. Let's look inside this book. Actually, that's what we should do. After we had a good time ridiculing this guy, and only because he was so arrogant and undeservingly arrogant at that, you could be cocky if you got something that you really carved for yourself. You know what I'm saying? But if you regurgitating other people's research and you messing it up and you don't know what you're talking about, you don't have nothing to be proud about or cocky about. You haven't done any firsthand research yourself. And the research that you're stealing from other people, you're presenting it in a mixed up fashion. I could listen to that and go, he got that from Ali, that's from Sabi, those is my lines. That's some shit he heard on a video about Arnold Eric. Like, bro, all that shit is gobbledygook when you mixing it up and you don't know what you're talking about. Uh, let me see if this book is on here. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, why is it that every time I'm looking for a book, I cannot find it? Now, where the hell do these things go? Hold on. Maybe that does the, the, the recent ones. <sighs> Work with me, people. I'm trying to find this file. And the program that you got to use with Amazon. Amazon has their own publishing program. So you can't just type it up into, you know, you can't just use your own stuff to, to publish with Amazon. So... I don't got a good handle on it, a good hang of it, but some of the stuff I am still learning when it comes to this um, program. Okay. 
can I find it? Sorry. Oh, here we go, right here. Bang, bang. Woo. Okay, here we go. Here we go. All right. Let me see. Let me find the page I want to jump to. Actually, let's just start with, we'll just go through this whole part, this whole little beginning part, right? Embryology, aortic arch. The thoracic aorta, the aorta inside the thorax, meaning aorta inside the chest, subdivides into three sections. Ascending aorta, the aortic arch, and the descending aorta. The ascending or rising thoracic aorta arises from the left ventricle of the heart. That's this right here. This, this part right here where the mouth is going up to the apex. This is the ascending. This little mouth right here is plugged onto the top of the heart. So the heart would be right up under this hook piece right here. And this is where the blood leaves the heart with fresh oxygen and goes into your aorta right here in this mouth. So this part right here where it rises up still, the blood has to go up. That's the ascending part of the aorta. And thoracic just means inside the chest, right? Because the aorta is large. It goes throughout your whole body, almost throughout your whole body. So the part that's in the chest is this part up here, right? So this is the thoracic aorta. Arises from the left ventricle of the heart, anterior to the pulmonary artery, and rises to approximately the level of the fourth thoracic vertebrae. Now, this is where I was explaining to uh, Reggie, a.k.a. Geek Squad, that you can't study the spine and not know about the aorta because the aorta is literally tied to the spine. Like, it's attached to the spine, right? The aorta then begins to travel posteriorly and to the left where it is known as the arch of the aorta. That's this right here. And that's why you see a little twist in this because this mouth part is in front of this, the body that extends down, right? So you have this part and then it goes backwards a little bit as it's going up to the apex. And then that's where it makes its transition to the descending aorta. Right. The normal arch of the aorta gives off three vessels. That's these guys right up here at the top. The subclavian artery, the common carotid artery and the left common carotid artery. So these are the carotid arteries. Now, if you do martial arts, you know about this. And here's the left subclavian artery. Right. So these three vessels branch off and they continue to branch off. That's where all the arteries come from. They're branches of the aorta, right? So if you know anything about jujitsu, though, you know the rear naked choke. The rear naked choke focuses on um, these arteries in your neck. Anyway, the normal arch of the aorta gives off three vessels. The brachiocephalic right pertaining to the arm and the head just so you know what that means brachiocephalic that means the arm and the head right the brachiocephalic trunk also known as the innominant which means nameless or anonymous right artery is the first branch bifurcating bifurcating means dividing in two so I'm breaking down everything that I think in this article would um, be complicated that would, you know, inhibit people from being able to understand it. 
right? So that's where you see on the first page, I give credit to the author of the article, but I say explained and made plain by Dr. Inky, right? Okay. I missed something. Who we miss at the bottom here? All right, so the uh, the bifurcating means dividing into into the right subclavian. It's just talking about this vessel right here. When they say bifurcating, they just mean that this is dividing in two. And trust me, the language is designed to confuse you because clearly you could simply say that the vessel divides in two, but they don't want you to understand. That's why it's all Latin and they use terms like bifurcating instead of saying <laughs> dividing in two, right? But divides into two, The right subclavian, which means under the clavicle. Subclavian means under the clavicle. And if you notice, all this stuff is in parentheses so that as you read it, you get to understand, right? So under the clavicle in front of the neck, that's what that means. The right common carotid means it goes from the heart to the head. That's what carotid means, from the heart to the head. Brachiocephalic trunk. The brachiocephalic trunk is then followed by the left common carotid and subclavian arteries. The typical pattern of aortic arch vessels occurs approximately 70% of the population. 30% of the people have a different aorta structure. This is what I'm saying about the human body. You have to study the body. You got to study. Even if you don't want to be a teacher, just for yourself, you got to know. Because everybody's body is similar, but nobody's body is the same. That's a hell of a number right there. To say that 30% of the people alive have a different aorta than everybody else. <laughs> That mean your blood flow different and all that. That mean your blood flow different and all that. Your body different. That mean you got to take care of yourself different. It starts with the knowledge. Anyway. The typical pattern of aortic arch vessels occurs in approximately 70% of the population. 30% of people have a different aorta structure. Around the vertebral level of T4, the aorta continues as the descending thoracic aorta until it reaches the diaphragm. Development of the thoracic aorta. The ascending aorta develops as a component of the primitive heart tube. Okay, so now what we're talking about is inside the embryo inside the baby and this is where you're going to find some usefulness if you're one of the people who bought the book breathing flesh i don't know where mine is at right now but in that book it talks about some terms for the heart and it says clearly in the book nobody knows what it means or at least that the people that are attempting to translate it, they don't know what it means for sure. So they all debating and confused. This is what I wanted Reggie to admit out loud to the audience. That his sources where he's learning from are confused. Why? Because these are linguists. These niggas don't study anatomy. <laughs> That's in the book. Matter of fact, let me find out. Let me see if I can look around and find the book. But I got a lot of books around. So, like, when I say I can't find a book, like, literally, it'd be like this. And most of the books around is my books. And every time I do this, if you notice, the pile gets bigger and bigger. The pile gets bigger and bigger. <laughs> yeah, every time I do this, the pile gets bigger and bigger. And heavier, too. Shit. I might need to start doing reps. 
think that's I might have to start doing reps, just lifting my book. That's great. No, I don't know where the hell it is right now. I don't know where it is. I went to sleep on these two books. I've read this book multiple times. This is one of my favorite books right here. Cancer as a Metabolic Disease by Thomas Seafried. This is, this is a classic right here. It's a tough read. If you don't really know the, the biochemistry and the anatomy yet, so I wouldn't suggest it right out the gate. I tried to put a lot of people onto that book, and most of the people tapped out after the first few pages. But anyway, I fell asleep reading that, and then I fell asleep reading this also. I was kind of doing a little comparative study between these two. This is a book um, from Ross Aiken Gortner right it's from 1911 you can still find it some places but it's from 1911 and it is probably um now obviously it's over a hundred years old so stuff it's not going to be all rise right and exact it's got to be you know updated and whatever the case may be but it is one of the oldest uh studies that got a lot of traction you know what i'm saying um it's called studies on melanin number three the inhibitory action of certain phenolic substances upon tyrosinase so it's an article written over a hundred years ago about what things you eat could stop your body from producing melanin that's why i tell you these folk that's why i did the melanin code of silence because it's a code of silence on this information you just got to know where to find it and you know yeah you see mines look terrible mines look super beat up and you know yeah because i didn't work this article over like a, a zillion times but yeah I, every so often i got to go back and pull up something and go wait what was that but yeah, so I fell asleep on that. I don't know where the, the thing is. But anyway, it says in there that the debate is still open to interpretation because they're translating the words and, you know, this, they don't know what it really means. They can give you an approximation or just a straight translation, but they don't know what that means. So the, um, the, ra, the, the Ra'ib, right? which some people translate as the stomach of the heart right or the mouth of the heart the straight translation is just the whole of the heart right but that whole develops into the aorta <laughs> these niggas don't stay in the studio long enough So the develop so as we read this, you'll see the ascending aorta develops as a component of the primitive heart tube. The ascending aorta develops as a component of the primitive heart tube. The primitive heart tube is composed of three layers, which are analogous to the adult human heart. The endocardium, right? Cardium is a combining form occurring in compounds 
that denote tissue or organs associated with the heart, right? That forms the endothelial lining of the embryonic heart. The myocardium forms the, muscle, the muscular bulk of the embryonic heart, while the visceral pericardium forms the embryonic heart tube's external surface. The primitive heart develops from five dilations. Dilations means enlarging, expanding, or widening, right, to this tube. The truncus arteriosus, the conus cordis, the primitive ventricle, the primitive atrium, and the sinus venosus. The truncus arteriosus, arteriosus forms the basis for developing the ascending aorta and pulmonary trunk. Beginning during the fifth week of development, the truncus starts as a single outflow track from the right and left ventricle, but is eventually divided by the aortic, the aortico pulmonary septum. The aortico pulmonary septum, aortico pulmonary meaning joining the aorta to the pulmonary artery, right? The aortico pulmonary septum into separate vascular outflow channels. Right? And then pictures here so you can see what I'm explaining. Right, The truncal and conal ridges are invaded by neural crest cells. If you don't know what neural crest cells are, neural crest cells are neurons and melanocytes. Those are the major cells from the neural crest, not the only cells, the major cells. Right, So these neurons and melanocytes come into the heart in the embryonic stage and into the aorta in the embryonic stage, right? Leading to spiraling that forms the aortico pulmonary septum. The arch of the aorta develops from multiple structures. The portion of the arch proximal, proximal to the brachioencephalic trunk arises directly from the aortic sac. Pause. The medial area of the arch between the brachiocephalic trunk and the left common carotid artery arises from the left fourth aortic arch. The portion of the arch distal, distal means away from the center. The portion of the arch distal to the left common carotid artery arises from the dorsal. Dorsal means back, right? It arises from the, the dorsal aorta. The descending aorta arises from the dorsal aorta. Early in development, paired right and left dorsal aorta are confluent, which means running with the aortic sac, right? So if you look from that page to this page, look at the bottom, you see the pictures of the development, right? And so we walk through the whole development from the heart tube to the heart to the aorta into the rest of the arteries, right? Into the rest of the arteries. <laughs> right? So I'm not going to bore my less scholarly folks to death with all of the science. You can get the science in the book the Y scepter, and then you can learn about arteries and <laughs> yo, hold up. Nah, we gotta go back to this thing, man. I, I'm sorry. We gotta go back to this this brother. We gotta go back to this 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 young man. We gotta go back to this young man. Um because this is classic. This is classic. We got to go back to this young brother. I got to see this again. I got to see this again for myself. Even if you don't want to see this, this is kind. This is crazy. It's learning, but it's comedy at the same time. It's comedy at the same time. I I have never seen somebody so wrong and strong at the same time.
Ya. Stop. There is no, all right, now that he's gone, you could take that off the screen. Listen to what I'm telling you, Sal. It's no such as thing as sharpen up with that guy. Everything he said was absolutely incorrect. The only thing he did was mix in a few buzz, like, like things that would make people want to buy something or things that would speak to people that don't know anything, like, you say in a bunch of incorrect science and then you throw in because, you know, the meat's producing acid. And so people are familiar. Mm -hmm. with but all of his all of his science is just incorrect. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it, and it can't I can't, you know, go along with that. So that's I want y'all to stay tuned. We got a special, special guest coming on in a few minutes. I think y'all going to like it, Inky. You're going to like it, Inky. Nepal. Oh, I know. I know who it is. Who? I'm not gonna say. Say it if you know. Say it. See that there are there's reproduction wrong. Wait. City in the building, baby. We got alkaline. Oh, oh, oh. Well, oh, oh. you. Well, oh, oh. anywhere saying that you could regrow a whole pancreas. This is not smart enough. That no. when I say the beta cells. One isn't the only I mean, you, I'm respecting them. Lawyers, lawyers, a waspy ass kicked. Um, we're suffering from um, deficient deficiency. I know too. He believe in flat earth too. Uh, hollow earth. Yes, hollow earth. I'm a hollow earther. Um, so we're suffering from deficiencies in the in the communities, you know, and. Um, obesity, cancer, diabetes, sickle cell anemia, lupus, um, AIDS, right? These are the deficiencies we're suffering from. If you go into all the schematics about um, what we eat, <laughs> our deficiencies come from 100% of what we consume, okay? We come from an alkaline state. What is an alkaline state? An alkaline state is the creator state. That's our God state. You know, um, uh, us, our bodies can go into two forms. You either can be in an alkaline state, in God state, our creator state, our most high state, or you can be. Just for clarity, again, your blood, it becomes poisonous in an alkaline state. Okay, I just want to make sure for the people listening. I'm I'm sorry you guys are subject to listening to these types of goofballs, but this is your blood becomes toxic when it's alkaline. Your blood is not supposed to be alkaline. Your blood is supposed to have balance. 7.365. It's so easy to remember. 7 days a week, 365 days a year. 7.365. That's what your blood pH is supposed to be. If it drops below that, that's acidosis. You'll die quickly. If it rises above that, it's alkalosis. You'll die quickly. Just as quickly. It's the same. In a in a state of Satanism, a state of demonism, which is a an acidic state. Okay. God state is zero, is seven point zero and above on a pH scale. The devil state is six point nine and below. Okay. We can go into, you know, the immaculate conception of all of this. You know, we can go into the actual, you know, the Bible text, and we can go into when Satan gave. Eva apple or so-called it wasn't an apple they try to perceive it as the apple because they always want the apple to be the demon fruit so they put the apple in snow white and the seven doors they put the apple in and all of these right um so-called disney movies to demonize the apple so eve gave i mean satan gave eve the forbidden fruit and when she consumed the forbidden fruit was it said her eyes went wide like she got high this was the first time 
of her of our body, the human body consuming what is so-called acid, right? Something that was acidic that was non-natural to our environment. Okay. These acids, they when we when yo, even in the Bible story, he, did you see how he be just butchered? First of all, in the Bible story, they in the Garden of Eden. So the apple is natural to their environment because they're in a garden where apples grow naturally. I'm just saying that his stuff is so far from true that even his own stories, he's not able to follow along with. This is short bus scholarship here. This is the kids with the helmets that was licking the school bus. You know, when you see these guys and they charismatic and they dress well and they present themselves a certain way, you never know what their report card looked like in school. You never know what they cla what class they was in, who they was. This shit crazy out here, for sure. The purpose of living, right, and consuming is to feed our cells. Our cells, they are basically these little combustions of electrical energy. And these, the mitochondria has an explosion. The mitochondria is the brain of the cell. And when it has this implosion, it sends out an electrical current through your artery, through your vein. From your vein, it goes into your, your heart, your lungs, your, your brain, <laughs> you know, your, your, um, all, all of your bodies to come family. to life this is a because Ali of the electrical for current. US House District 12 here in Charlotte, North Carolina. Let's just be real, folks. The Democrats have destroyed our major cities. Their policies have made us less safe. They've given us less economic opportunity, and they've provided less educational opportunities for our children. And that's why I'm running for Congress, because I know what it's... That's, that's the algorithm. That are going from your cells into your organs. That's one. Okay? okay so uh, when, we con when we consume... We hold on a second. I'm a I'm a land. I'm a land. Don't I'm not I'm not going to be that long winded. So when we consume, we consume to feed our cell, okay? So that our cell can continuously that was acidic, that was non natural to our environment, okay? These acids, they when we when the purpose of living, right, and consuming is to feed our cells, our cells. They are basically these little combustions of electrical energy. And these, <laughs> the mitochondria has an explosion. The mitochondria is the brain of the cell. And when it has this implosion, it sends out an electrical current through your artery, through you your vein. From your vein, it goes into your, your heart. of electrical energy and these the mitochondria has an explosion the mitochondria is the brain of the cell and when it has this implosion it sends out an electrical current through your artery through your vein from your vein it goes into your your heart your lungs your your yeah i cannot get enough of that 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 right there that's the cat what the this shit right here this shit right here <laughs> Oh, yo, this shit right here. I can't get enough of this segment right here. This is everything right here. I would gladly sit through four hours of frustration to find this one diamond in the rough. This is priceless. And these, the mitochondria has an explosion. The mitochondria is the brain of the cell. And when it has this implosion, it sends out an electrical current through your artery, through your vein. From your vein, it goes into your your heart, your no lungs, gun, your bro. your brain. Your faith and love, yeah, and love, yeah, and faith, believe, yeah, faith, yeah, faith yeah, and love, yeah, and love. Gave Eva apple, or so called. It wasn't an apple. They try to perceive it as the apple because they always want the apple to be the demon fruit. So they put the apple in Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. They put the apple in, in all of these, right, um, so-called Disney movies to demonize the apple. So Eve gave 
I mean, Satan gave Eve the forbidden fruit. And when she consumed the forbidden fruit, was it said her eyes went wide, like she got high. This was the first time of her of our body, the human body, consuming what is so-called acid, right? Something that was acidic that was non-natural to our environment. Okay. These acids that Yo, and he supposed to represent the vegan plant-based community. He supposed to represent the vegan plant-based community telling folks that the first time we ate an apple was the first time we had acid. <laughs> Yo, then he violated Disney, fucked up Disney shit, because guess what? Disney did not do that. None of this what he's saying is true. Like on every level, this shit is gobbledygook. I got children, so I remember these stories because I, I got to, you know, stay in the loop. But it shows in the story the witch added the poison inside the apple. So not even a kid, four years old, five years old, six years old, is led to misbelieve, to think that the apple was poisonous. They know that it was poison put into the apple magically by the witch, right? I, I just don't understand what happened to reading comprehension out here, man. Niggas is illiterate, severely. Hey, when we, when the purpose of living, right, and consuming is to feed ourselves. Our cells, they are basically these little combustions of electrical energy and these the mitochondria has an explosion the mitochondria is the brain of the cell and when it has this implosion it sends out an electrical current through your artery through your vein from your vein it goes into your your heart your lungs your your brain you know Yo. your your um all all of your bodies come yo this nigga got blood flowing backwards so the electrical energy is coming from the cells going into the artery. And then from the artery, it's going up to your heart and to your lungs and your brain. <laughs> ah! Yo, I listen, every time I watch it, I see more things that are incorrect that I missed out the last time I debunked it. Like if I watch it right now and we debunk it totally. In 10 minutes, if we watch it again, it's going to be so, it's so many levels to his gobbledygook. And it's over for him for life. He would never be able to sit, he would never be able to sit with me as a peer. He would only be able to come to me humbly as a student because otherwise I'm just going to refer back to this. There is no future. This this student or this student means you got to tap out and say, okay, I got a lot to learn. Or we just stay with this. You know, where the electricity, you know, it doesn't come from the oxygen. It don't come from the oxygen that you breathe through your lungs to your blood. No, 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 no. It goes from the food into your cells and then from the food the sugar the glucose makes your mitochondria explode and when they implode <laughs> they explode and then they implode that shoots electricity out of the cell into the artery which goes up into your heart and your lungs and all that this shit right here is priceless I got to make little clips of this and everything. This shit right here is going to live for a long time. This is insane. The cell, when it has this implosion, it sends out an electrical current through your artery, through your vein. From your vein, it goes into your, your heart, your lungs, your, your brain, you know, your, your, um, <laughs> all, all of your bodies come to life because of the electrical currents that are going from your cells into your organs that's one okay, okay. so uh, when we can when we consume we hold, hold on a second on. so it ain't even no purpose of breathing we don't even need to breathe we don't need to breathe we don't need lungs none of that we could just eat the food and the food will 
produce electric current that comes out of the cell, goes into the arteries and veins, and then to your heart and your lungs and your brain and brings you alive. And people wonder why the holistic community hasn't went further yet. Inky, yo, with the information and the books and all that, you should be a billionaire or you should be over here or over there. The reason is, is because guys like this put themselves out there and they say, oh, I represent the vegan, you know, I represent the holistic, you know, I represent Sabi. And then people listen to them and then they go, oh, wow. Okay. So is this what your community? And then they, these niggas like him, they smile and like, yeah, I represent the community. Yeah. And they don't realize that the person talking to them is saying in their mind, this nigga's an idiot. They just smiling like, oh, okay, so you you represent the whole alkaline community? It's like when you see a monkey at the zoo and the monkey is doing something crazy and you're looking through the window and you got a little smile on your face. The monkey might believe that that smile means no. Zero respect. So I have to fight people's ignorance and then I have to fight within the community constantly for quality control because niggas like this are running rampant. He's going to know people. He's going to make contacts. You know what I'm saying? He's out there wheeling and dealing, selling food, selling whatever. So he's going to get in front of people. And God forbid you think these athletes are dumb. See, a lot of people think the people watching YouTube is dumb. I don't know why they think the people watching YouTube is dumb. I'm a person that watches YouTube. I know goddamn well I'm not dumb, so I won't assume that anybody else is. But these athletes, this is the thing that people assume, and this is what I'm saying with specialized knowledge. You think because an athlete doesn't know all kinds of other things because he's de dedicated his life to sports that he don't know the body. These athletes know the body better than you. So they might not be able to speak good and articulate because they used to wearing a helmet or they used to just doing their thing on the basketball court, getting that fat check. But they know the body because they live and die by their body. So when these goofy niggas start talking this crazy shit, oh yeah, and the mitochondria explodes and then it implodes and then electric current shoots out into the arteries and veins, into the heart and the lungs and the brain. Dummies, dummies, nine to fivers that don't read, they go, oh wow, that's deep. What you what you got, bro? What you selling? You know, that's the next question because they, they dazed already by the, the information. Oh my God. Oh brother, that was deep. You said the mitochondria explodes and electric current goes up to the heart. And the, man, where can I get some of that at? You know, they want to buy. Like, you can't get some of that nowhere. Nigga, that's information, incorrect information. But you can't purchase information unless you buy a book, right? You can't eat it. But that's what these guys would do. It's like showmanship. I'm going to wow you with some information you never heard before, and then I'm going to point you to a product. This is why I try to keep pointing people to the information. I have a whole bunch of products, but I don't point people to that because I don't even want uninformed people buying my products. I want you to learn first, then come see me. Yeah, that's why I offer tutoring. Come get some tutoring, get some books, get some tutoring. Let's let's work. The people who testimonies I have is all people who, even though they were sick, scared and panicking, doctors might have told them a few weeks, a few months, whatever. I didn't sell them shit. I sold them information. Or we had a consultation and I was showing them where to read and what are was like, no, 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 no. Before we talk anything about any herbs, vitamins, this. I need you to get educated, champ. I got to bring you up to a level where I know we can have a conversation. Because if you're out there, you listening to niggas saying that mitochondria explodes or implodes and electric current shoots out of the cell into the vein and artery and it goes up into the heart and the lungs and the brain. 
And trust me, he's not alone. I just got to make example of him because I got one. Usually the guys that talk like this stay in the chat room. When Sanetta open up the panel at the end, they don't come in. <laughs> this nigga here. <laughs> Yo, this is the epitome of it's better to, how it go? It's better to keep your mouth shut and be thought a fool than to open up your mouth and remove all doubt. I did not have to debunk this guy for the smart people in the room. The smart people heard that immediately as soon as he said, veins are arteries or this like. <sighs> I'm a, I'm a land. I'm a land. Don't, I'm not, I'm not going to be that long winded. So when we consume, we consume to feed our cell. Okay. So that Peace our cell can continuously have My this. My name is Dr. Inky the founder of the melanin versus diabetes movement and ministry. Our goal is to fight diabetes by creating a biochemically literate society. One book at a time, one person at a time, one household at a time. It ain't no fun when a rabbit got the gun, you heard?